Hello everyone. Do you know who this is? Yet you have absolutely no idea. Of course. Wow. Somebody gonna be famous. Real famous. <laughs> I sit here writing to you now with my exceptionally long penis very deeply and normally into my vagina butt. Isn't that neat? Charlie Hunter 77 has joined the game. Call 911. This place needs to be swatted. It's obnoxious. You have a bully head ball. You don't find people being bullied into suicide on 4chan. I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, if he says any more bad words, I'm gonna hang up on him. He doesn't own Key Farm, and he died last night. A little kid named Moon owns Key Farm. Oh, fuck. Ah! How do they make this more and more epic? Every time. I'm sorry, I'm a soy filled bitch with like videos. Hey, hey, hey. If we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, it, you know, just a tweet that mentions the hashtag game again, it, it, it doesn't even necessarily matter how we use it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking hats. It's 2019, I can't believe anybody believes me. I'm a fucking ball of water. True. I bet you when Jim finds out, he's gonna just give me so much shit. One never knows when the homosexual is about. I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. I aim as well as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I said it's not even hot outside. You are not allowed to bring her to the hospital. No. No, you get no permission to fucking do it. You gotta be kidding. It's, it's just like this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Uh, put that in your pipe. I definitely cheated on Super Mario with Sonic the Hedgehog. Stop doing this stuff. He's like the blue uh, seductress who takes me out into the night and does wonderful things to me. Enough! Stop! How can a Yorkshire Terrier live in the wild? <laughs> it's in plain sight, but you just don't see it. You know what I mean? Well, how are my fellow chud buds doing? Oh my God, it's the end of July. Fucking year is just flying by. That high energy shit that we love so goddamn much. So much has happened this month. So many fun stories to go over. I don't even know where to start. I should do a last time on Dragon Ball Z to fill you in on what happened after that last stream. Put up a little footage on Twitter. Maybe some of you missed all of that. So I put together a compilation cut, <laughs> a compilation cut of all the uh, hardcore parkour things happening out in Jim's driveway uh, pre-battle, which I think is scheduled for fucking December. I don't know. Nobody informs me of these things. I don't, I don't know when it's coming up, but it's coming up. Oh, now I've gotten rid, gotten rid of my little, my little Mersh sound clip that I usually use when I shill merchandise. You know, it was fun to use, but Mersh now owes like $800 billion in taxes or something. And so I don't want to play Kick the Autistic anymore. <laughs> He's probably going to federal prison or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Not my problem. Fun to laugh at, though. But I'd be remiss if I wasn't shilling things. We've got the standard store with that standard, standard uh, merchandise. Oh, we love merchandise, don't we? Always got to sell a hat. That's my... That's my motto. Sell them a fucking hat. Then we've got the uh, the new store. Ooh, even more hats are available. How can one man sell so many hats? It's it's remarkable. I just have a gift for it. Now, I know other people out there have been uh, working on some merchandise. Namely, 
Ethan Ralph of the <laughs> the Ralph Retort has uh has come up with this this great T-shirt, a board ski T-shirt. Look at that, offering that up for sale because uh, uh, Andy Worski aborted a baby with his bare hands, just yanked yanked it right out. No mercy whatsoever. Threw it in a blender, made a smoothie out of it. If you're morally outraged about that, the Aborski shirt really, really tells the neighborhood, hey, <laughs> I'm not somebody you should be walking on the other side of the street from. If you run into me at a mall, uh, there's nothing to be afraid of with my fucking pentagram put right in the middle of the t-shirt. But this felt like a challenge to me. Like, I'm the king of lazy merchandise, and here Ralph is trying to encroach on my territory with this fucking awful t-shirt. And that made me think, wait a minute, I can do better than that. Jim can do better than that. That Aborski shirt, that's, that's, that's not lazy enough, Ralph. You've got to up your game. You've got to pump those numbers, piggy. Let me, let me show you how it's done professionally. I'd like to introduce you all a very limited time collection. I call it uh, the Deadbeat Dad Collection, available on Selfie. Oh, it's presented by Jimco, so you know it's high quality. We've got a few different offerings. First is the lovely t-shirt, which says, I spent more money on this shirt than Ralph did on his son. We've also got the mug, I spent more on this mug than Ralph did on his son, and a sticker, too. Because all of these would be accurate statements. I spent more on this sticker than Ralph did on his son. Any of these objects that you buy... You have now spent more money than Ethan Ralph has on his own children. Proudly tell the world as you're out and about that Ethan Ralph is a deadbeat father who doesn't take care of his responsibilities. <laughs> I know it's not as high tier as the Aborski shirt, but let's be honest. I mean, Andy, Wartz <laughs> Andy Worski Aborski that baby, but he has spent equally as much time with his son as Ralph has with his own. So this is a factually correct t-shirt, mug, and sticker. Again, the Deadbeat Dad collection, the finest of quality from Jimco. I'm sure Ralph is uh, stream sniping right now, probably snorting. <laughs> snorting because he's a pig or he's on coke, who knows? But this is how you do it. This is a, a much superior product. A lot of, a lot of fine technical detail went into this. <laughs> you can tell a lot of work. Really, really had to roll up my sleeves and fucking uh, go for it. How oh, you like that, chat? <laughs> you like the t-shirt offerings? Mmm. Glad you like that. Again, that's available over on Selfie. So after you buy at least 15 hats, <laughs> make sure you pick up a t-shirt too. Now, last time on Dragon Ball Z, Jim was doing his June recap when there was a knock, knock, knock at the door. <sighs> Who was that? It's a mystery. Oh my god. Surprise visits. Now, Baked Alaska... Baked Alaska seemed a little sad. He's a little bit sad. Now, maybe he was crying because his, uh, <laughs> his medication wasn't in. I don't know. I'm not one to judge. Maybe he was upset because he knew he would be taking a plea deal. We'll be talking about that later on. But he seemed a little pissed off. Let's, uh, let's cue up that footage. Let's take a look at Baked, <laughs> Baked, Baked uh, and his reaction to me getting a, a little a knock -a rooney at my door. Swatty squad. Dude! Th this is pathetic. He's rattled as fuck and he's trying to like still be the internet cool guy. He can't be real for one second. He can't just be like, yo, that was fucked up. Fuck that. Like, yikes. Listen to him breathing and smoking. Listen to this guy over there breathing and smoking. <sighs> People breathe? Oh, God. No wonder he was a high tier reporter at fucking. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, baked out there doing his journalistic to people breathe exclusive on BuzzFeed this motherfucker inhales oxygen what the fuck and he's trying to say swatty squad he's he's shilling his merch what the when I got swatted the last fucking thing I wanted to do is shill my fucking merch you well maybe you're a bitch by the way pick up that uh, amazing deal over at Selfie the Deadbeat Dad Collection by Jimco, T-shirts, mugs, and more. Highest of quality, laziest of efforts. <laughs> He's breathing and selling merchandise? Why isn't he sobbing on stream like I do? I'm Baked Alaska. 
And if somebody winks at me, I piss myself. Fucking weirdo. What the fuck? Oh. Neighbors, what the, what's going on over there, honey? <laughs> I told you, those people, they're just too quiet. They're too quiet over at that house. Why would 20 squats? Yeah, yeah. Why would, exactly. He just, dude, he just fucked up so hard. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yoba? Oh, Jim's out there fucking up. I, I, this guy breathing and selling hats, telling people and people are knocking at his door and he's actually breathing oxygen. What a fuck up. <laughs> I like how Baked is basically admitting that he was in tears uh, when something like this happened to him. Literally pissing himself. Needed an adult diaper. I bet Fuentes came in right afterwards with his black life sniffing around, looking for any bodily fluids he might find. <laughs> Mumbling Yoba. As he's licking the fucking furniture, trying to tra track down traces of a uh, uh, baked piss after uh, the traumatic event. They're they're saying in the chat. Oh, Ralph felt what? No, no, no. Medicare has just been felted. He just fucking dude. He just fucking. In Why would you admit a swatting? You're 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 done now. Now people are gonna look up the police report. Car show up. <laughs> Oh, it's like watching it's like playing SWAT 4 or something they're all creeping through the lawns halfway across the neighborhood like everything he does he tries to be internet funny guy you know he's shitting his pants right now yep absolutely just just shook oh, oh I'm over here trembling very scared baked just like you not that you're a giant pussy or anything no <laughs> I, he's so fucking mad it was a really weird reaction he was very upset that I wasn't breaking down in tears and that I was breathing oxygen and selling hats. I can't help it. I'm built to sell hats, Baked. It's in my blood. It's in my blood to sell fucking hats, Baked. I can't help myself. Oh, boy. Tick, tick, Medicare. Your time uh, somebody said, is Check coming. the police scanner archives. Uh, might be a good way to go. I don't know. I suppose that's something we could try. <laughs> All right. Show your face. Oh bitch. boy, we got a, we show got we got, we got so much shit to go here, folks. Wait, why won't he show we, his we face? We got lots of big shit to go. <laughs> why would what what is that? What a weird non sequitur. Show your face. You've just been doxxed and you're selling hats. I need to see your face right now, Medicare. Me too, Coor. Why won't you show your face, Medicare? <laughs> Uh, Baked sounds a little disappointed. I'm sorry, Baked. I should have taken it more serious. This is a serious event. I shouldn't be over here making jokes about it. Because uh, we have every county deputy here right now. We have 15. Well, I'm serious. We have 15 really? deputies. We have fire. We have yeah, ML. We have ambulances. We have everybody here. Everybody's here. Oh, make a joke clips about it, Jim. Why aren't you crying right now? Sorry, Baked. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not sobbing, Baked. I'm sorry. It's terribly. It's uh, what a terrible thing. I don't know, chat. Would you like to see, would you like to see the swatting footage? <laughs> would you like, yeah, chat. Baked Alaska confirmed Fed. Show your face, Medicare. Oh, I bet you want to see it, Fed. I bet you want to see it, you glow in the dark. <laughs> Uh, now, I put together a compilation. I don't know, chat. But uh, if you'd like to see the hottest, the hottest collection of Jim getting his door knocked, it's here. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go over. I've, I've compiled it from multiple angles. Uh, you know, I think you'll enjoy it. It's a nice little homage. Now, there's no audio on this particular camera. But you can see the officers <laughs> walking up. You know, just take a, I hey, I hate this guy here. He sells hats. Be careful. I hear he breathe, he breathes oxygen. We better be real fucking serious about this one, boys. Goddamn oxygen thief in this house. All right, let's back up behind this fucking tree. He might come out and sell us a hat. Now switch over to a clip that's got some audio. Give you a little bit, uh, a different angle on the action, folks. <laughs> I 
to shuffle back. Might sell. Might try to sell us merchandise. Run, run. Okay, crouch behind this tree. You won't see us over here. I'd give you an idea. They're just kind of milling about, coming in from different fucking angles. <laughs> Multiple cops. I've got a little collection at the end, too, to show how many uh, of the vehicles just go flying by. I think you'll enjoy it. See another guy coming from the other. Yeah, they're all over the place. Just fucking positioned in multiple yards with their little with their little tactical group. said that, uh, that they shot their girlfriend, that she was bleeding out, so, and then they threatened to kill themselves. That's why we're here. Hope it doesn't happen again, sure. because uh, we have every county deputy here right now. We have 15. Well, I'm serious. We have 15 really? deputies. We have fire. We have yeah, ML. Right. We have ambulances. We have everybody here. Oh, and here you go. And this is kind of like, just to give you an idea of how many guys were parked up the street. You know, they're coming in from one angle. But just, you, you'll be able to see just multiple vehicles going down. They were all, all up the road. Just, it was like a fucking scene out of a movie. You would have thought I robbed a bank or something. There we go. There's one. So there's one swinging by. It's like a little parade of police. There, we got another one. Uh, a lot of unsatisfied customers charging too much for those hats. <laughs> Why are you breathing oxygen, Medicare? Oh, there's another. It's like a little, a little, <laughs> it's cloud car shit. There goes another one. Oh, I promised I'd put together that footage for you. Wanted to have that ready to go. Because I, I know there'd be some interested parties. But don't worry. I've, I've, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared. I now have a, a full <clears throat> stock of hats ready to go the next time, uh, if this does happen. Free hats should be able to help me survive. By the way, if you look at the time code, took four minutes. So, Baked, why would I, why would I be upset? It literally took four minutes. That's it. Oh, hey, have you, uh, massacred a bunch of people? Oh, you didn't? Okay. Nice hats. Have a good day. <laughs> but apparently I need to be on the ground uh, just weeping. Just pulling out my hair and weeping, gnashing my teeth. Now I've got a little a little secondary system, aside from the, the camera systems, <clears throat> for the future of the uh, Battle of Jim's driveway. I'm working on a drone swarm outfitted with the worst Chinese speakers money can buy. Here you go, a, a little size reference. There's a hat next to it. I think this is a little, what is it, a DJI? Now, I want you to imagine this thing. <laughs> when Ralph shows up. I want you to imagine this and like tw 10 others. Just a swarm of drones with little speakers on them. Out, you know, outputting at like 150 decibels. And they're all making pig noises. Just picture it in your mind. Ethan Ralph, standing out in the street, trying to, well, trying to stand. The girth is probably pulling him down. As multiple little drones... Swoop by out of the sky, dive bombing them like pigeons taking a shit, and they're all making suey noises. <laughs> program, program a little algorithm. They all they all fly in sequence. It's my own little air force. I call it Pig Force One. So when when the Battle of Jim's driveway commences, Pig Force One will take to the air, and there will be oinking noises heard for miles around. Volume output the same as a fucking jet engine taking off. <laughs> gotta, you gotta think ahead. That's that Boy Scout motto shit, chat. You gotta be ready. You gotta be on your A game, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, by the way, uh, this is actually a, facu or, uh, a factual statement. Um, Ethan Ralph cannot say the name. Legally can't. Adrian Blair. You should test him. Ask him in his chat. Uh, Ralph, say Adrian Blair. I dare you. Talk about Adrian Blair. Say that name. Say her name, Ralph. Say Adrian Blair. Can't legally do it. Not legally allowed to do it. Not legally allowed to do a lot of things. We'll be going over that today. <laughs> as Ralph fumbles his way through the fucking legal system like a goof, be fun times. But I think we should start... <clears throat> I think we should start with... Um, with the big news. 
the thing that I'm most fucking excited for, because this is coming up next month, finally, after a year, after a year of our boy being in jail, Christian Weston Chandler. By the way, Christine Chandler, defendant's name, gender male. How much does that hurt, Chris? <laughs> How much does that hurt, Chris? Well, Chris Chan has finally been indicted on a Class 5 felony. I guess that's called a wobbler because it could have been a misdemeanor. First degree, I'm not even kidding you. He's literally going to trial for first degree mommy fucking. Chris Chan is going to trial on felony mommy fucking. <laughs> and that trial is coming up. I'm sorry, I should say it's going to the grand jury in a week. And then when they say, oh, absolutely, this is insane, put him in prison. Then the fucking trial starts. How did we get here? How did this happen? You know, I remember when this dude was drawing Sonichu cartoons and screaming in his YouTube videos. And here he is, a decade later, <laughs> on trial for fucking his mother. First degree mommy fucking. It's a serious crime. Now, he's been in prison for a year. A year. Uh, one second, Jen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, once again to interrupt the stream. Uh-oh, tragic. Uh-oh, folks. L ladies and gentlemen, there's been a second attempt at swatting. Apparently. Apparently, a second attempt. Uh, the police... I told you, my fucking strategy, solid gold. You got those free hats? Nothing's gonna happen. Just give you a phone call and say, Hey, did, did you kill someone? And you're like, nah, nah, not really. And they just drive on by. <sighs> I'm, is this where I start crying? Can somebody ask Baked Alaska? Is this the point where I start... Should I start sobbing Baked? Am I supposed to, are tears supposed to, are they going to go, oh God, I'm really upset right now. I need to stop breathing oxygen. This is an upsetting event. Oh God, somebody. Oh God, what am I going to, oh, I'm hyperventilating. Oh God, how do I calm down? I know, I'll sell some t-shirts. Oh God, yeah. How about I sell some t-shirts? Again, the Deadbeat Dad collection available on Selfie. Be sure to pick some up. Fuck you, Baked. I don't give a shit. Oh, Ralph and Baked. I'm sorry I'm not broken down in tears over something that you both cry about like bitches. <sighs> but I'm doing just fine. Doing good over here. Selling some t-shirts and hats, Baked. <gasps> Woo! Sucking in that oxygen. Even through all that cancer and smoker lungs. <laughs> doing just fine, Baked. Interrupting me when I'm talking about my boy Chris. What are you doing? Make me lose my train of thought. All right. So, Chris Chan, first degree mommy fucking, going to grand jury on the 8th. I am so excited for this. This is going to be the internet's OJ trial. Now, I know a lot of people didn't have faith. They said there's no way it would even get to this point. He'll never go to a grand jury. He'll never get tried with a felony. Uh, he'll be out. They'll let him out. That was the thing. Oh, he'll be in there for a week. And then it was a month. And then it was half a year. And now it's been a year, a year that he's been in there. No Legos, no Sonic, no coloring books, none of that shit. Just Chris in a cell with other violent offenders. <laughs> Trying to make a, what is he going to do? I mean, do you remember? Do you remember that day so long ago <laughs> where Christine was taken away in handcuffs? Completely confused. Why are they arresting me? Why am I getting arrested? All I did was fuck my mother. I dick down, mommy, why am I going to prison? Well, maybe because your mother is, you know, not there anymore, Chris, and that you're fucking your mother on top of it. I guess that's not a really great excuse. Well, it would have been okay if she was senile. No, no, yeah, uh, Chris, Chris, you had to know. You had to know you were doing a bad thing. You had to know that this was going to happen. I love the art. The amount of work people have put in, you know, kind of building up to this, the artwork that's really just floating out around there. It's just, it's fucking fantastic. 
It's like a renaissance of Chris Chan. The fact that people have never heard of him before are talking about it. All the goofy shit that he's done over the years. Thinking about who's going to be who's going to be on the jury. Will Surfshack Tito make an appearance? Liquid Chris? Clyde Cash, the man in the pickle suit, maybe? If Billy Mays going to resurrect from the dead and retake Quickville? We don't fucking know. It's a lot of shit that could happen. Will Blue Spike show up and forcibly insert a fucking medallion up Chris's ass in the middle of testimony? Perhaps. We can't rule it out. We can't say no. Perhaps it will happen. <laughs> <clears throat> fucking Chris, man. Look at this. It's like a, a portal into the olden days. And the, the time when things were a little more innocent. And he was just dealing with pickle-suited men. Trying to trick them. <laughs> hanging out at the mall with his attraction sign. Talking about his broken heart. His nemesis at that time, a man in a pickle suit. You really can't write this. It's just reality gone fucking crazy. And here we are with Chris going to court on a fucking fifth degree felony for mommy fucking. Amazing. Now we know that he has the CPU goddess powers, that he has the ability to shake the heavens with his rage. Of course we know that. And so when the day comes that the grand jury says, and you know, go forward, and the DA brings this to trial, Chris will unleash his unholy powers. <laughs> and lay waste to everyone there. They will all die. All his little, all his little Sonics, of whom there are like eighty now that I can't, I couldn't even tell you. Like you know, what are we, what are we doing here? There's Magic Chan and I, like Sonichu, Rosichu, but like he's he's there's like 80, 90 of them now. I can't keep track anymore. But he'll split the heavens, and unleash an unholy horde of rabid. <laughs> Rabid sauna chews on the jury to devour their flesh and eat their souls. You can't, you can't contain it. You can't stop the merge, chat. It's not fucking possible. I'm streaming this shit. If Christian goes to trial, it's a very unlikely event that this would happen. But if Christian goes to trial, I'm streaming it every fucking day, every day. Every fucking day. I'll make an Odyssey account because there's no way I'll be able to say what I want on YouTube in regards to this trial. But I'm streaming it every day. I pray to God that Chris Chan goes to trial. It would be the most spectacular thing the internet's ever seen. Just put it up, broadcast it, let us all watch it. You know, it's a little showmanship, I think. Come on, DA. Come on, Judge. You understand. I know you've looked at the wiki. I know you've watched uh, Gino Samuel's fucking documentary, Spaz Kids Animations. Maybe even went old school and watched the old uh, Vivitheg audiobooks. Or Vivitha G, whatever. I think I think we all deserve it, chat. I think we deserve the chance to watch this fucking... It's all right, chat. Let's fucking go. It's time. It's time for this trial to fucking happen. We've been waiting a year for it. And frankly, I am ready. Let's put this back up. Oh, Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> Where did it all go wrong? Oh, do you imagine, like, if you had a time machine? <laughs> if you had a time machine and you're not using it on important shit, you know, stopping uh, economic problems, war, disease, all that shit, you're like, fuck it. I built a time machine. Just because I want to go back to something awful when they first start talking about Chris and tell him how it would turn out. <laughs> I want to go and tell them, hey, listen, that guy you just posted about today, the one with the goofy comic books, check out what he does a decade from now. Check out what this dude gets up to. I mean, there's so much history to go over. Covering a trial of Chris Chan, every day you'd have topics to talk about. From his little uh, taint vagina where he had a a tear that he thought was him naturally growing a vagina, but it was just a wound that was getting infected. The tomboy arc, tom girl arc. Oh, needs to happen. Needs to happen, chat, just us. Put that there. 
Uh, in fact, let me let me pull you. I I can't imagine why you'd say no to this. But let's find out. Let's take a minute and just let's let's test the audience. Should this trial happen? Should a Christian trial happen? If you're not voting yes, something's fucking wrong with you. 98% already I'm upset. Who are the 2% of people that don't think this trial should happen? How anti-fun are you? <laughs> 2%. I, I don't. Did Chris Chan's legal team show up to the stream? <laughs> You're like, no, please. We're public defenders. We don't get paid for this. Please don't make us go to trial for this shit. Please. I don't want to have to defend this man. I have to go over everything. He smells so bad. He smells so bad. Please, no. I think, look at this. You know what good entertainment is, chat. We're already 97% with 4,000 votes. I think, I think we all understand the, the, the just pure entertainment value that we'd be getting out of Christian. How could you, how could you not want it? Let that go for a second. Give it, give it a fair shake to see where we are. Oh, almost 5,000 votes. 4% of you would not want to see the trial? Really? I'm just amazed by that. What? I can't think of the reasoning for it. You know it'd be the greatest shit show that's ever been televised. Well, not televised, but at least online. Very confusing. <sighs> Maybe this is the anti-hat part of my audience. <laughs> We're not buying hats, and we don't want to see the Chris Chan trial, Jim. We have no fucking interest in it. Let's end it there. I, I'm calling it. That's just an overwhelming majority. Want to see this shit. Somebody said give him the chair? Jesus. It's a little harsh. If you, if you start the trial out by electrocuting him, I don't know where you go from there. Where, where are we going from there? Oh, where would we go from there? Pull this up. My God. Every, you know the other reason I'm excited for a Chris Chan trial? It's because then we would have another fat idiot in legal trouble that's more entertaining than Ralph. You know, when I put together these end-of-the-month streams, every month he surpasses himself. It's just a never-ending fucking train wreck. And you'd think you'd learn. Like a little kid, right? You know, the don't-touch-the-burner-on-the-stove-it's-hot kind of thing. Even if they don't listen to you the first time and they scold their hand, they're not going to do it again. Nobody's that fucking stupid. And then you meet Ethan Ralph. And he's just, he's, he's playing that shit like they're bongo drums. Just slamming his hands on the fucking burners. He doesn't get it. He just doesn't understand. Every month, he's up there trying to play a tune. His pork sizzling as his little pig fingers slam against the burners. And then I've got to sit here and put together a timeline to try to make it coherent. Because cause you motherfuckers are turning, you're tuning in, and then you're like, well, it couldn't possibly get worse. This this guy can't be this stupid, can he? Oh, but he can. Oh, but he can. Where do we start with Ralph this month? <laughs> Would you believe that he's in just nonstop legal trouble? Oh, it's amazing, really. <sighs> you know, it's kind of sad. It's too bad the Gambian Groiper can't show up and uh, help him. You know, remember that guy, Ralph? You remember the Gambian Groiper, the guy you paid a bunch of money to, the black dude that cucked you, took your money and laughed at you because you're a fat idiot? <laughs> Do you remember that, Ralph? What happened to the Gambian Groiper, Mr. Base Groiper? Oh, he took your money because you're a mark. You're a big, dumb, stupid pig. He took your money, and then he laughed about it. He got together with all his Nigerian friends, and they laughed at you, Ralph. They laughed at you. He's probably like, I bet he showed your picture to a bunch of his friends. And he's like, do you, take a look at this. This is, he's probably like, first off, this is what an American looks like. It's my first time seeing one. <laughs> yes, they all are that fat and their eyes are that fucked up. And secondly, they just give you money. We don't even need to scam them anymore. Forget the fucking, uh, my uncle has gold in the bank shit. Just ask them for money and they give it to you. 
Something about a live stream? I don't know. Uh, so where do we start? Well, let's start a little, uh, a little lightheartedly. A little lightheartedly. Well, for us at least. Now, Ralph prides himself on being top in the sector. The biggest from the top on down. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. This can't happen. Ralph is a big deal. Kind of a big deal here. Top of the sector, after all. Big numbers. Put him up on those billboards. Except when it comes to... This is brutal as fuck, and I love it. So Ralph had a Wikipedia page. And I'm not even kidding you. The most significant thing up on that Wikipedia page was calling him a sex offender. And when that got removed, Wikipedia got together and just talked about Ralph to see, should he even have an article? And this is, these are the highlights of their conversation when they looked at Ethan Ralph and they thought on it. This is the assessment they came up with for his value as a human being and entry on their shitty little encyclopedia. Ralph is not significant. In almost all cases, Ralph is trivial. They use the word trivial quite a lot. A non-notable alt-right pseudo-celebrity. Ralph was not as notable as I thought. This is my favorite one, by the way. Basically, window dressing for a nothing burger. It's a very artistic way of saying Ralph is a fucking nobody. Window dressing for a nothing burger. Limited coverage during Gamergate, not a significant figure. Does not meet notability. Window dressing for a nothing burger. You fat idiot. That's your legacy. You're a talk page on a deleted article where they're laughing about how unimportant you are. <laughs> wow. Really, really, really uh, getting the name of the kill stream out there. The Ralph retort. <laughs> Not significant. I just love trivial. Every time. A thousand times it's mentioned. Trivial, trivial, trivial. It's got to hurt a little bit. Got to be a little upsetting. I don't know if you can keep the title atop in the sector, but you know what title you can keep? The biggest bitch in the sector. Chat, are you ready to hear the saga of the fish man? Oh, I hope you're excited for this, because I am fucking thrilled to tell you about it. <laughs> Did you know Ralph lost? Did you? A dude that cleans fish tanks has claimed victory over Ethan Ralph. Ethan Ralph and all of his hollering has bent the knee to a man that cleans fish tanks. Are you ready to hear the fish man and his story, chat? Are you ready to hear the arduous battle the tank cleaner went against? <laughs> had against the big, fat, stupid pig. Okay, here we go. Buckle up, folks. Let's start the tale of the fish man. Now, this is an actual telegram from Ralph. I'll be at the Florida Aquarium before I leave the state. Nate Perez has made the call. Oh, oh Ralph's getting a little angry. That's, that's early July. Who's this Nate guy, and why is Ralph going to the aquarium before he leaves the state? Actually, what I meant was, I'm going to go on, on Twitter and try to get you fired. Dot at Florida Aquarium, your employee is harassing my fiancé from your place of business. He's using a site called the Kiwi Farms by that broke dick pedophile Joshua Moon and is conducting this harassment while he's at your establishment. Please investigate. In case you aren't familiar with Kiwi Farms, here's their Wikipedia article. <laughs> hey, Ralph, is that a bit of irony that you're linking to a Wikipedia article for Kiwi Farms? Because they have one, and you don't. Do you know why you don't? Because you're not significant. You're a nothing burger, Ralph. <laughs> Your big fat fucking nothing burger. So, Fishman happened to be acquainted with uh, uh, Ralph's lady and dropped some details about what's going on uh, in uh, in her former life and statements she made. Ralph got big fucking mad about it. How dare this guy that cleans an aquarium talk about my woman? And he decided to declare he declared jihad on him. Again, a guy that cleans fish tanks at an aquarium. Gonna teach him a lesson, get him fired, old Karen Ralph. So let's uh let's listen to Ralph be totally reasonable and not unhinged about this. I think you might want to think about doing the right thing, because I don't know how you would handle it if copies of this article were just put underneath the windshield of everybody at the fucking Florida Aquarium for them to have a little read through. And if you think I won't do something like that, you don't fucking know me, bitch. 
<laughs> I forgot. So this guy drops um, information, right? And then Ralph uh, decides that he's going to teach him a lesson by writing an article on his uh, Tumblr blog, which nobody reads because who cares? And when the guy laughed at him for it, uh, Ralph decided he got, he, he did not, hey, you better listen. I'm coming to your work now. You don't fucking know me. Because I 100% am going to do something like that. And it ain't against the law, bitch. You might want to brush up on the law because I'm very familiar with it. If you post that apology today, today, fucker. Actually, you know what? I, I, that, that just caught my attention. Let's back up because this is going to be funny later on. You might want to brush up on the law because I'm very familiar with it. You'll find out how familiar he is with it in like a half an hour. Trust me, chat. I'm coming to get you. If you post that apology today, today, fucker, then I won't. If not, I'm 100% going to do this. Watch me. Hide and fucking watch me, bitch. Hide and watch me. Is Ralph channeling trauma from his childhood? What is that? Who's hide and watch me? Hide and watch me. I'm coming to get you. you. Better hide and watch me like I did when I was a little boy, and the belt came out. Hide and watch me. You want to fuck with me? You want to fuck with my family? Keep my fucking woman's name out of your fucking mouth, bitch. Ironic, ironic, Ralph, that you'd be getting upset about this. Keep my woman's name out of your mouth. Keep my woman's name out of your. Mouth. Dude talks about everybody's family. The second you talk about is, he cries like a bitch. Another perfect example of what it is to be Ethan Ralph. Fuck you. First Amendment protected you, God. Mm. <sighs> I'm really trying not to say that as much now. You're damn right. <sighs> You want to fuck around? You want to play? I said this yesterday. We're about to fucking play. You get on that fucking website and you post that fucking apology. He's so impotent. His rage is so non-threatening. He's demanding some guy apologize. The guy at the aquarium apologize. Or else he's going to teach him a lesson. I'm coming to that aquarium and I'm going to poke those fish. I'm going to tap on the tanks. You can't stop me. Today! You want to fuck around? Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. And there ain't nothing illegal about it at all. Motherfuckers go and put shit under windshields all the time. Ads for stuff. News articles. That shit is completely fucking legal, bitch. You know, I kind of wonder if Ralph's calories were as empty as his threats. Maybe he wouldn't be 500 pounds. <laughs> Maybe in a better universe. Things would have worked out better for him. I don't know. It's not breaking the law. There's nothing illegal about it. So if you don't want that to fucking happen, if you don't want everybody at your fucking work to know what a fucking sick creep you are, you better get on that fucking website and you better fucking apologize and you better fucking do it today. Do you understand me, Perez? You better fucking do it today. Because I'm not kidding. I guarantee fucking tee you I'm going to do this. Bitch, if you do not, I promise to God on my mother's fucking grave. So, Ethan Ralph is infuriated at the fish man. And he's, he's offered a challenge. You better do what I want and give me an apology, a written fucking apology. And then he swears on the, the grave of his dead mother. Now, chat, I want you to imagine how much of a pussy you must be to make that kind of declaration and then not follow through with it. Surely Ralph wouldn't be that gigantic of a pussy, would he? To make the statement that he swears on his dead mother's grave that he's going to go and do this and then not follow through on it would make him the biggest bitch I've ever seen. Clearly he must have done it. Let's watch more of the clips to find out. By the way, in case you're not familiar with how Twitter works, Nate the Rapist is right. I have a verified account as does the Florida Aquarium. So they will definitely 100%. When you have a verified account, there's a special verified tab. 
They will 100% see my tweet and investigate, guaranteed. He's got music playing. He's dancing. He's dancing because he turned into Karen. He's dancing because he's tweeting at this dude's boss after threatening to go down there and swearing on his dead mother's grave. And this was his follow-up. To dance like, to do the truffle shuffle. To do the fucking truffle shuffle from Goonies. While he talks about tattling to their boss. And I'm going to go down there and talk to him in person. I'm going to seek some things out myself. Uh, like you getting your ass fired or uh, them rep- reprimanding you. One or the other. So that's what I'm seeking out. Flat out. That's me saying it publicly. And I'll say it to them when I talk to them in person. So, uh, no, I'm not going up there with a camera. I'm not going up there to fight. I'm going up there and asking to speak to human resources. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have a stack of documents like this, and I'm going to have all your posts from Kiwi Farms, and I'm going to have info on Kiwi Farms, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. (laughs) I want you to imagine. You work in HR at an aquarium. Just put yourself in this position. You're working HR at a fucking state-run aquarium. And this runs into your office. And he has printed out papers from Ki- from websites you've never heard of. Hundreds of pages of shit from Kiwi Farms. I'm here to tell you that one of your employees called me a fat fucking four-titted pig freak on the internet. It's right here on this goddamn Kiwi Farms run by that pedophile Joshua Connor Moon. Broke dick motherfucker. He's just screaming his blood pressure's going through the roof. He's turning as red as a tomato. Probably shit himself a little bit. A little bit of a shark coming out. <laughs> as he's throwing papers all over the fucking place. You're hiding behind your desk. You're not just, is this a robbery? You don't know what's going on. <laughs> You're, you've written down the name Adrian Blair and are holding it up like a crucifix. Try to keep this pig vampire away from you. Get back. Uh, uh, look at these tweets. I'm verified on Twitter. You gotta, you gotta listen to me. You need to fire this man. Now, Ralph makes all these threats. He's gonna, he's gonna show up. He's gonna kick this guy's ass. He's gonna paper his neighborhood. He's gonna talk to HR. He's gonna do all this shit. He's gonna teach him a lesson. So, what was the final? What was the, what was the capstone to this? How could this get more embarrassing? After you swear on your dead mother's grave that you're gonna do something. And then you don't because you're a giant pussy. How could you embarrass yourself more? How about the fucking aquarium banned him? (laughs) Ralph is banned from the Tampa Aquarium. He's so fucking stupid and unhinged. They banned him from ever showing up. No dolphins for you, piggy. No whales or fishies for you. Pigs can't swim. Get out of here. (laughs) <laughs> sir, sir, you need to leave the premises. Stop trying to eat the chum. What are you doing? This motherfucker got banned from an aquarium. That's, that's it, Ralph. <laughs> Wikipedia article deleted because he's a fucking nothing burger. Banned from the aquarium because he's a sped. That's Ethan Ralph. That's the story of Ethan Ralph. His fight against the fish man. <laughs> now, you may have noticed, Ralph got really upset. Very, very, very mad. Uh, in that. Uh, how dare you talk about my wife? How dare you say things about my wife? He's very indignant about it. I just like to remind you, this is what this is how Ethan reacts uh, you know, differently, right? When it's him. But if it's anybody else, this is what he's like. That's just the fact. That's just the fact of the matter. Now, uh, I've thought about doing the, the private investigator fundraise, um, but I gotta, you know, actually make some calls now that I'm back in the United States. But I think something like that's completely above board. Um, You know, this guy's put a a bounty out on people's lives, tried to destroy lives with bullshit, Um, not even real shit. Uh, I think his personal life, I think pictures of him, his family, his his wife specifically, who was an e celebrity in her own right. She's not a she's not a private person. You can't just say I resign that. Not when you're married to a guy like him. So I think all that's completely. Absolutely fair game. I think it would be fair game to go up to her work and ask about her associations there and quiz her friends and investigate his family and do all that. I think that that's completely fair game. So Ethan Ralph is ready to go start a war because a dude posted something on a message board about his experience having known 
uh, Ralph's girlfriend, fiance, whatever. And Ralph wants to just go uh, go to war over that. And then here he is talking about, I want to stalk people at their work. I want to press them. I want to do all this weird shit. There's no, it's no wonder he's got uh, multiple DVROs, which are domestic violence restraining orders. Say her name, Ralph, Adrian Blair. <laughs> so hot off the loss. This is stunning to me. Hot off the loss of making himself look like the world's biggest jackass by pussying out and then not getting an apology and then getting banned from the aquarium. They try it again. Ralph decides he wants another apology. Only this time it's coming from Jim. Jim needs to apologize. <laughs> so here comes Bibble. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with Bibble, uh, this is a dude who wanted to play D&D with me and I said no. And now he's fucking heartbroken over it, as confirmed by Gator and Rand on their stream. Uh, but here's another demand for an apology. Ralph really, really likes to go around demanding apologies and then not doing anything about it. Now it's time for the counterattack. And we're going to keep going at you until you know what's going to happen. Some, some fame seeker is going to go out there and they're going to try and get a picture of you, Jim. Some fame seek, somebody who wants to be famous on, on the farms is going to go out there and snap some candid photos of you. I don't want it to happen, but that's what's going to happen. That's what happens when enough people get on there, enough people get in the chat, they all rile each other up. You know how these fucking schizos are. I don't want it to happen, but that's what's going to happen. They're going to go out there. They're going to take pictures of your wife out in the front yard. They're going to try and take pictures through your window, Jim. Uh, they're gonna they, they're gonna try and do something crazy. They might start up a stream and start walking around your house. They might try and press your wife out in the front yard or at her work. I don't. Want have you ever heard? <laughs> have you ever heard somebody who's not black try to be black so hard? They press your wife out in the front yard. Oh, are you gonna shuck and jive for me, Bibble? <laughs> press her? Are they gonna press her? <laughs> He's such a wigger. Holy shit! I don't need that to happen. But, you know, as long as the more this continues, the more these schizos get all riled up. And, and you know how they get, man. You know how they get. All you got to do is just, you know, post a letter of apology on your Twitter, go on your stream, say that you lost, say that we won, and then delete everything and never come back. That's all you got to do. And we'll stop talking about you. And the schizos will forget about you like they always do. So you see, but what's going to happen, and Jim thinks, oh, well, I'll just disappear. This is what I've always done. When the heat starts to really get turned up, when the schizos start to really get riled up, I just go away. We're still going to talk about you. We're still going to talk about you. We're going to have a daily Medicare watch. That's right. How many days since medicare has been gone? I'm going to get on here and cut <laughs> promos. It's going to happen every single day until you go on you post a letter of apology on your Twitter, and then you fuck off. Oh, you know what's not going to happen every day, Bibble? D&D &D games with you. <laughs> That's what's not going to happen. Oh, you're going to get pressed, Jim. You're oh, the heat's coming. What is with these people? Baked and Ralph and Bibble. How can you sell hats? How can you breathe oxygen? You've been swatted. Why aren't you screaming? <laughs> just one fuck up after another. Ralph just is a disaster. A fucking vortex of misfortune for anyone around him. And I'm so glad that he's become the fucking, uh, <laughs> the fucking uh, millstone around Nick Fuentes' neck. Because he's going to have to deal with that shit forever. You may remember, uh, Ralph decided to start a fight, for no reason really, with uh, Lauren Southern. Because she tried to make him eat the bugs. Yeah, Lauren Southern, I believe, runs the Odyssey account when Julian himself doesn't run it. Bitch, I got something for you too. Bitch, I got a lot for you. Whore. You know, the, they're fans. Thinking I'm going to eat bugs on Odyssey? You stupid fags. Did you really think I was going to fucking debase myself? Bitch. You fucking skank. You think I'm going to fucking eat bugs? Who the fuck are you talking to? Did you really think... Did you really think I was going to eat the bugs? Not the bugs. I will not... Ethan Ralph will eat 28 fucking uh, brownies in a row, but he will not eat the bugs, Lauren. Never the bugs. Yo, fake face ass bitch. So much plastic surgery, you can't even hardly make a fucking goddamn fucking a grimace on your face.
eternally butt hurt because your sister's so much hotter than you. I'd probably try to get some surgery too. Fucking bitch. Try to get me to eat bugs on air and then act all offended when I didn't eat the bugs. Bitch, you can eat this dick. It's what you can fucking eat. Would you, what would that be? Like a little appetizer? <laughs> if Lauren ate your dick, would she be famished afterwards? Uh, I see on the menu you have a, a, a Memphis Micro. What is that exactly, waiter? Oh, well, that's a, a, an incredibly small penis sautéed with disappointment and tears. As you can see, it's an unsatisfactory appetizer. That's why we actually pay you to eat it. Eat this dick, bitch. I ain't eating the bugs. E whore, airheaded bitch. Shut the fuck up. Oh, he was big mad. Well, Southern said she was going to do a video <laughs> about Ralph's associate. This is what Ralph does. Ralph runs his big, stupid fucking pig mouth, and then he causes trouble for everybody else. So Lauren, Lauren decides, I'm going to make a video talking about Milo Yiannopoulos and other people you associate with, Ralph. And then take a look at the video. Half a million views, 33,000 likes, 9,000 comments. And the funniest thing about this, Ralph is 100% responsible for this video being made. And just like Wikipedia, Lauren doesn't mention him once. She actually refers to him as being insignificant. Basically, what the fucking Wikipedia editor, editor said. Not notable alt-right pseudo-celebrity. Uh, window dressing for nothing burger. So Ralph runs his mouth, and then Lauren makes a video about people that, you know, somebody would care to hear about. And <laughs> doesn't say his fucking name once. Ralph, how do you take this many L's? How are you how are you getting this many L's, motherfucker? You're defeated by a guy who cleans fish tanks? Lawrence Southern is dunking on you? <laughs> Made a popular video because you wouldn't shut up about bug eating? <laughs> it's just this <laughs> a tale of tragedy. Wikipedia editors? Wikipedia editors are laughing at you, Ralph? Calling you a nothing burger? A big fat stupid fucking nothing burger? Oh, hurts. It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that view count say 10,000, Ralph? I was pretty certain when you were hollering like a dumb fucking pig, you said I wouldn't hit that number. That's weird. Is that another L for Ethan, Ralph? <laughs> Did we hit 10,000 viewers? Ethan? L after L after L. If only some of those losses were related to weight, you'd be a happier person, huh? Oh, so sad. So sad. <laughs> uh, Jim's going to do a short break. I'm going to grab me a drink. I'll put on a little music and we'll get back to even more Ethan Ralph L's because we haven't even gotten to the funny shit yet. <laughs> I'm going to show you how this stupid fucking moron has gotten himself into legal trouble three different ways. Three different ways, folks. It's remarkable. So while we do that break, let me, oh, let me be a shill. Make sure that's up there. Let me put that up there. And then, um, oh, actually, you know, I'm going to have to move that up just a little bit. Put a little music on. And we'll be back in five minutes. The haters on YouTube are on the verge of flooding with hate comments. Because you got that. Because you got that. Must wake up. So, basically, I'm, uh, first of all, 
all basically a mod. Basically a mod, a mod, a mod, basically. And the mod, first of all, basically a mod. I have to say is that a mod. I don't know. First of all, a mod. How come, like, a mod? Yeah, sorry, I'm with autism. I don't know how to use words that well. My dad is not a fucking dwarf. Oh, we're back, folks. Oh, we're back from our short, our short little commercial break. Oh boy, back into more of the Ralph Mail losses this month. <laughs> oh shit! You know, I'd, I'd uh, stream snipe him, stream sniping me, but I don't want to give him pity views because I know Cozy can't keep those fucking numbers up. Pretty sad, even with the multiplier. So sorry, Ralph. I can't help you out there. Unless, unless you want to start talking about Adrian Blair. Maybe then I would. But I guess I guess we need to move on to the next thing. <laughs> I think you guys are going to like this. Oh, excuse me. Let's move on to the Great Gunt Hunt. Now, this is not the name I came up with. This is what other people came up with. This is in regards to the Junkyard Dog. The Ralpha Pig. I hope you're I hope you're ready, Jed. I hope you're ready. Now back, this is important. I gotta call out the dates here because it's gonna make it funny. Now back in June twenty first, Ralph tweeted this out. Missed the show last night. No. The late starts are tough now with the morning show, lol. Needed to take a nap first. I've also been focusing on moving, which is what I was alluding to yesterday, so that's been taking up a lot of my time. No longer care to live in Richmond. Hmm. No longer care to live in Richmond, June 21st. Okay. Thus begins the great gun hunt. As he puts it, why would you do this? What sensible person would do this? Also, it's driving the Spurks nuts because they think I was kidding about them not being able to find me. I'll say it again. You won't know my address ever again and have no way to get it. Stay mad. That's like full Drakengard. Right? Like, what are you, what are you doing? So you bitch about people fucking with you online, and then you invite them to fuck with you online. Real smart. So people spent an inordinate amount of time, try, I guess, trying to figure out where he is. It became like a, a little game. It's like a, a little ARG online, you know? Oh, we're going to find the gun. We're going to hunt the gun. We're going to figure out where he is as he's absconded to a mysterious location. <laughs> you got to understand, too. This is kind of happening concurrently with him fighting the fish man. So while Ralph is, you know, kind of right after, it's like the tail end of his battle, the arduous battle of the fish man, as Ralph is running around the nation, or the world perhaps, hiding from location to location, a pig in the attic. We don't know where he is. There's another one. Regardless if I have to share my address to see my son, doubt it. I doubt you'll ever see him too, Ralph. At least that's the most honest thing you've ever said. <laughs> See, my son, doubt it. He had to put that in parentheses. Remember, deadbeat dad collection available at Selfie. And let those people dox me again, putting my daughter in danger. Then I'll show him uh, the name of record one day down the line. I will never share my new address. There's no one who can make me. And I believe those are two little alcoholic beverages getting clinked together. A little bit of foreshadowing, maybe. <laughs> A little bit of foreshadowing, perhaps. That's not accurate, but I'm telling you and anyone else now, I'm not giving my address out as part of any legal or California legal proceedings. I guarantee that I won't, period. Keep seething, though. I would have moved much sooner if I knew it would cause extreme insanity. Of course, Ralph being the gigantic fucking idiot that he is. 
X starts, you know, slipping up and showing photos of, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's a man who looks like he's been boiled in the sun with a green screen put up against a wall with switches, breakers. I don't know what that is. Half painted into the wall. This is like a, a refurbished Airbnb attic in a garage that's detached. You know, and this is like a, a motel on the seediest part of town that Ralph is absconded and hiding in. Now, my personal theory at the time was he was hiding from the fish man. He'd started so much shit with the fish man that the aquarium had sent him out to get some revenge. And so Ralph had to go to an undisclosed location. Maybe he had his friend Baked Alaska, the federal informant, glow in the dark, uh, put him up with a safe house for with the FBI. I don't know. I mean, I guess Baked would have that kind of connection. Maybe that's what Baked was doing. He's like, trust me, my FBI handlers will, will take care of you, Ralph. We'll put you in an attic at an Airbnb. Nobody will ever find you. Now, while the gunt hunt is going on for about two or three weeks, Gator posts something over on post. Just kind of a one-off. That's not all Kinoche. The hit and run during the Pillstream era. He ate an entire bar of Xanax and drove around Richmond destroying a mailbox, absolutely obliterated his bumper in the front end of his car, and drove into a ditch. The only reason they caught him was because he had to be towed back to his house. LOL. So I don't know if that inspired people to start looking at different things related to crashes, what might be going on, why Ralph is running around the country, because they, they noticed something interesting. Uh, one of the things that they found interesting was this. I've shown the one on the left, but not the one on the right. Well, I may have done Vegas a little hard, because I had to go to the hospital from the airport. I was having some heart episode. On the bright side, nitroglycerin really fucking works, lol. After a couple hours, they put a patch of that shit on me, and I cleared it right up. Literally four in the morning on November 5th, the <laughs> five hours later, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, 20, 29 hours later, nine in the morning on November 6th, the next day, Ralph gets into a fucking car accident. So Ethan Ralph, who's already had a hit and run because he was on bars as Annie, coming back from Vegas, probably did some shit he shouldn't have done. I don't know what he was doing, drinking drugs, who knows? We've heard the, the, the uh, clips from other people about what Ralph does in Vegas has a heart attack because he's so fucked up. He gets back to Richmond, and then he has a massive fucking car accident. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, that's not looking good. Well, I guess, you know, you start putting all this together, and uh-oh, somebody's got, somebody's got criminal court coming up. A class one misdemeanor going 65 at a 30, released on a summons. Why is everything about Ralph related to car accidents? Why is everything about Ralph related to car accidents? What's the offense date on that? Oh, June 13th. That's an interesting timeline. So we've got, we've got, <laughs> we've got Gator talking about car accidents. We've got Ralph showing car accidents. And now he's mysteriously running around the country hiding from people. And then it turns out he's got criminal court proceedings for a first class misdemeanor for uh, dangerous driving, extreme driving. I don't know what it's called. A <laughs> 65 and a 30, but it gets better. There's a civil suit. Apparently, Ralph, this is related because it was filed two days after the criminal case. So Ralph has a criminal proceeding for the speeding violation. And related to that, <laughs> he's got a civil uh, litigation coming through. He's getting his ass sued. Now, if we were to, we were to match things up looking at the civil suit particularly, what would we see? Uh-oh, the exact day Ethan Ralph talked about moving and saying he no longer cared to live in Richmond, Virginia on June 21st. What does that say at the bottom of the civil proceeding? Date June 21st, summons issued for defendant. He literally got served. Within a week, he got a criminal case and a civil case, and he went on the run. <laughs> this, is the, this is his life. He loses fights to people that clean fish tanks. And then he runs from law enforcement and the civil courts because he can't drive a car properly. Because he has accident after accident after accident. Oh, that's not, that's not feeling so. Oh, God, Ralph Abros, that's not, that's not looking good. Ralph and sisters, what are we going to do? Oh, Ralph. Holy shit, come on, buddy. What are you doing? 
but let's let's make it a let's make it a hat trick okay we've got criminal court and civil court let's get family court involved but how could we ever do that i know how about we violate a restraining order how about we violate a restraining order by calling somebody we're not supposed to call oops sorry i jumped ahead a little bit <laughs> pretend you didn't see that pretend you didn't see that you see uh it turned out that Gator and Rand had done a stream together talking about Ethan Ralph and some of the things that, uh, some of the stories related to his relationships. Ralph went into such a fucking tailspin, literally lost his mind over this, that he violated a restraining order and called somebody he's not supposed to. <laughs> and he did it through Skype, and it's fully on record right there. Brilliant, Ralph. Brilliant. You are such a smart person, Ralph. You're such a smart person. And of course, uh, you know, because Ralph is a big, dumb fucking idiot, whenever he fucks up and does something stupid, demands letters of apologies, he's going to sue Gator, apparently. Killing the first Jenga block. By the way, you mentioned, Medicare. you mentioned Medicare, and I'm literally reading his timeline, and he's, I swear to God, I guess Gator's on with Rand. He said, uh, this never happened. Like, I don't even know where he got this from at all. He said, he grabbed his pregnant girlfriend by her throat while he was drunk and high and dragged her out of the house, what? is the claim that Medicare is making on Twitter, which I don't even know, like, that's just complete what? fantasy. Like, I don't even uh, Let's be factu or factually accurate, Ralph. <clears throat> uh, that wasn't the claim I made. That was a claim Gator made, and that was later substantiated by, I guess, Faith herself, because she said right here, yes, when I left, he grabbed me by the throat, which is why I think T got confused that night. November, uh, November would have been the time I left, and he grabbed my throat. Uh-oh. Not looking good. I know where that came from in the slightest. I mean, what like, the literally, fuck? they're just making up complete fan fiction. And Gator did this. The whole reason I put his information out there, now, I didn't dox him uh, myself, but I put out that he was in Carolina and that his name's Brian and all this stuff, and then Zoom doxed him the next day. The reason I did that, the reason I did that was because he was on Kino Casino, and he's like, yeah, I know for a fact that Ralph runs Pantu's accounts and this and that, like, literally just making up stuff wholesale. And I was like, okay, well, if you want to just make up shit, wholesale and try to fucking like torpedo me with just absolute lies by the way there's a lot of real shit that i've done that you could talk about you're just right. gonna go out there and just make shit up okay fuck you your information is not private with me i don't give a fuck you want to try to lie about me and fucking libel me bitch fuck you fuck your information and i'll be goddamn because if you actually did fucking say that you're looking at a fucking lawsuit goddamn it and i'm not fucking kidding at all because that's a motherfucking lie so so that would be, I, I just want to summarize here, criminal court, civil court, family court, and now Ralph wants to sue Gator for uh, uh, factually stating things that were told to him by the person you violated the restraining order on, and it's going to probably end up in family court. Brilliant. Four fucking court cases. This is smart thinking. How could it go wrong? Looking great for America first. A guy involved in four court cases streaming with a fucking federal informant. <laughs> is it working out for you, Nick? Is the, are things going well? If that's what Medicare wants to put out there, I know your name, Brian Holloman. I know exactly where you fucking live, motherfucker. And you better have some fucking proof to back that up. And you know you don't fucking have any, you cocksucker. Because if you did, it would be everywhere. You're a lying son of a bitch. You fat motherfucking dozen donut eating piece of shit. I have never, ever been lied about that. Besides Alice. Like, I can't think of anybody who would just go out there and say some shit like that. Motherfucker. You better be ready to go to court and defend yourself. And I'm not fucking playing. And I'm I'm not fucking kidding whatsoever. God damn it. Cog can get to the back of the line. I don't give a fuck about some fights in the street, motherfucker. I'm suing your fucking ass if you said that on air tonight. I guarantee you. And I'm not fucking kidding at all. I promise to God I'm suing your fucking ass if you said that on air tonight. Yeah, he, he swears to God he's going to do it just like he swore on his dead mother's grave he was going to teach Fishman a lesson. So what brilliant lesson has Ralph taken in from this? from the multiple court cases he's now involved in. What's the super smart thing Ralph is doing? I, I'm not even fucking kidding you. Apparently he's made this statement on stream. Uh, hold on one second. Ha <laughs> 
I'm guessing somebody, not saying particularly, uh, Chet, who's big mad right now, but uh, 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 our company came by because somebody told them there was a gas leak in the house. <laughs> uh, uh, knock, knock, knock. Is there a, an explosive gas leak in your house? Nope, nope, there isn't. I wonder who would be so mad right now that they would have called it a swatting attempt and a gas leak. I wonder, I wonder who would have attempted that. Who could, who could possibly be that mad right now? You know why I think on it? I'm just going to look at these amazing t-shirts that are sale up on uh, the Selfie store, the Deadbeat Dad collection. The I spent more on this shirt than Ralph did on his son t-shirt, mug, and sticker. Again, all 100% factually correct statements. Something about it so calming allows me to breathe air and smoke cigarettes. I think I'm going to get through this, chat. Oh, I think I'm going to make it through this. <laughs> Somebody's a little upset. Somebody's a little mad. That's fine. You can use that rage. Not saying uh, anybody in particular, but they can use that rage when they're out there collecting trash. Now, this is uh, Ralph's genius. Genius legal decision uh, that he, apparently he's come to with his lawyer. I'm not 100% certain how that works, but okay. So, uh, he thinks he can do preemptive community service to get around having his license taken for dangerous, reckless driving. Uh, which he can't. That's not going to work that way. <laughs> the judge isn't a fucking idiot, Ralph. So, I, if you're in the area and you see a big, fat, screaming hog on the side of the street picking up shit with his snout, his little hoof hands knocking cans around, his little pigtail twirling in a rage, that's that's him doing preemptive community service because that's the brilliant idea he came up with. Maybe don't be a reckless driver, you know? Maybe don't constantly crash your car after heart attacks and pills. Maybe that would be a better solution than reckless driving, Ralph. Oh, can you imagine it? You're just driving by, just driving down the road, and you're like, I know that guy. He eats shit. I saw that dude eat shit on the internet. Honey, that's the guy that eats poop. You you remember like a week ago, I was telling you there's this dude that tried to own the A-logs by uploading a fucking video of him eating human excrement. That's him. That's him. It's a service pig. That's right, chat. He's a service pig. Oh. I don't know what, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what would be making somebody mad. Again, not naming any names, not any, no, no specific allegations being put out. You know, maybe it's the deadbeat dad collection. Maybe it's the 10,000 plus people watching just L after L Ralph L after L L after L. I don't blame you. I know you're sick. I understand. I, I know what it's like to be sick, Ralph. I understand you're suffering from a condition. What's this lead, Rich? Must be real tough. Very, very tough condition to live with. Uh, do you know that uh, uh, Bibble and uh, Ralph, uh, after, a, I don't know, demanding like a 12th apology that they're never going to get from anyone, uh, we're like, I, I, Jim's Jim's faking his cancer. All part of my, my two and a half year op, guys. Um, and so, you know, I responded, it's a serious allegation. <laughs> it's a serious allegation uh, by, posting, by posting this. Uh, I'm sorry, my good friend posted this. Ralph and Bibble have raised some very serious questions about my medical condition, so I feel it necessary to answer this. Your turn, Ralph. And that, uh, by the way, that's an AIDS test. <laughs> that's an AIDS test that uh, the hematology department uh, did as part of the cancer cancer treatment plan, Ralph. Now, of course, Ralph, being a reasonable and not uh, seething ass-mad lunatic, <laughs> took my AIDS test and went after my cancer doctor. Now, the brilliant part of this is this stupid fucking hillbilly will say, Jim's faking his cancer. And yet the picture you would have had to get to put up on your telegram, Ralph, would have come from the cancer department, you stupid fucking feral hog. <laughs> this dude, he's firing anybody and everybody he could take a shot at. Cancer doctors, uh, fucking fish tank, aquarium workers. Let's go after Josh's dad. Josh Moon. 
And I love that he puts this in. The pedophile owner of Kiwi Farms claims he hasn't seen his father over 20 years. Well, I have. I just messaged him this morning. Interesting guy with an interesting history. Stay tuned. You know, I'd like to, again, because I think that Ralph likes to play with the timeline and shit. I'd like to take us back to the beginning of what I told Ralph when this all started. That the shit that he engages in is what comes back at him a hundredfold. And it keeps fucking happening. And he likes to pretend and rearrange the timeline to make it look like he's a victim. That's a big thing him and Bibble do. Uh, But it all starts, it all originates with Ralph. Ralph makes the initial threats. Ralph escalates with everybody online. Every single person he comes across. And then he cries like a bitch when it gets out of his control. Just like Fishman. You saw him screaming about his wife. And yet he'll go after anybody else's. He screams about people talking about his family. And then he's calling up fucking Josh Moon's dad. Going after fucking cancer doctors. Just being a weird little shit. He's, he's kind of a... Maybe that's why he has DVROs by multiple women all across the country. He's a bit of a sex pest. I don't know. But back to the original, the very start of it. And this shit you're doing, I, I'd like to make really clear when you know I retweet the stuff with Gator. Oh, that's not the doxing issue I have an issue with. You're going from doxing to life ruination. You want to start putting no, posters up? Kidding? Wait a minute. Uh, no, I'm not done with my rebuttal. You can rebut my rebuttal in a second. In soon. That's fine. Well, I'm go almost ahead. done. Okay, go ahead. You're talking about putting up flyers. What are they going to think it is working his job when they find out he's a white nationalist? Let me ask you a question. Do you think it's funny when Nick Fuentes has his bank account taken away? You like it when he gets fucked with like that? No, you were joking around about him being you, a faggot two weeks ago. So you think a lot of shit is funny that I don't. Like, I do think a lot of shit is funny, but I'm not the one saying you, that you, his you life should be ruined. You're, you're, do, you, do you think it was funny when? Do you think it was funny when Matt uh, uh, Dick Masterson's NP2 project and banks fucked him over? You like life no, ruination? You know Ralph? who supported that? All the people you're supporting now, Jim. Apparently, you uh, too, Ralph, because you're it, jumping into it. No, I'm saying if you don't like that shit, you say you don't, and I understand what you're am saying I you saying? don't. What am you're t- I you're gonna go fuck with Gator. You're gonna try to get him blacklisted okay, for being a white nationalist. You think that's funny, that. Ralph? That's no, you true. think that's funny. You want to fuck true. with his fuck life you. and do that's life ruination. That's, that's exactly what, what you want to do, Ralph. That's not what I just said. Just understand when you put hey, it out there, it comes back to you. you. Oh no, I'm just making it real clear. You want to play no, life ruination? It will come right back to you. You don't you have no you know what? People came to my fucking house. It will be a ten times worse than that, Ralph. And it literally has been, Ralph. Your life has devolved into a fucking trash fire. Clearly, you have to see that's happening. Ralph, I want you... Come on, buddy. I know you're stream sniping. Look me in the eye. <laughs> if you physically can. I want you to try to look me in the eye, Ralph. Tilt a little to the right. <laughs> try to line it up for me. You're involved in, like, three different court systems right now. You're hiding in multiple places around the country, trying to avoid a summons. You've got people you've had relationships with dropping information on you left and right. You're getting into fights with literally everyone, and it become a laughing stock. But you're not even a notable laughing stock. You don't even deserve a Wikipedia entry. You'll be an Ed article, Ralph. You'll be a Kiwi Farm sub forum, Ralph. At the rate you're going with the amount of fucking uh, threads and messages on Kiwi Farms, you're going to surpass DSP. You have like two hundred sixty thousand fucking messages, and DSP has like three hundred twenty thousand. And it took DSP like a decade to get there, Ralph. You've been going there for six months. You have absolutely imploded. And I told you at the very beginning, you stupid fucker, that that life ruination shit would catch up to you. And here we are. You've gotten your ass kicked in multiple countries. You've lost out on big money by being an idiot. You're involved in numerous court cases. You keep smashing up your vehicles because you're stupid. (laughs) It just doesn't end. You are an end of the month recap for me, Ralph. That's what your life has become. You're Jack Murphy. You're Christian. That's your legacy. Nobody's going to think of Ethan Ralph as the political commentator, the best in the sector. You're just a big, fat, dumb idiot on the internet people get enjoyment laughing about. Because you do stupid shit and it never ends. That's you. That's your fucking life. Talk about legacies. Who's going to write that one down? The only people that are going to remember you, Ralph, are the A-logs that fucking trolled you and the people that showed up to streams to laugh at you. That's about it. Because you can't control yourself. You are a rage pig. You are the bog hog, Ralph. That's what you've turned yourself into. Just shameful. Shameful, really. Just shameful. But it keeps going. 
So the Kino Casino had uh, a former AF member on who, who dropped some information that kind of just, it fits in really with everything else to the point where it's like, it's, it's poetry. So let's uh, we'll kind of uh, set it up a little bit here. Now we all know that Ethan Ralph and Nick Fuentes are the best of friends, and I won't hear otherwise. Please remember that. Anytime you encounter a cat boy or an American firster or a groiper, or you ever have contact with Nick Fuentes, please, please refer to him as Ethan Ralph's best friend. <laughs> I want that label hung around his fucking neck. So Ethan and, uh, and uh, Nick are best friends. They love each other. They do things. They go to parties together. They go to conventions together. They go activize together. You know, except for the fact that maybe it's not all honky-dory. That maybe behind the scenes things might be a little uh, a little different. Ralph is sort of like this, you know, trailer park junkyard with nothing left to lose. I don't think Ralph is a good person. And I've got respect for the grind. I got the respect for the grind. But he's a degenerate. I mean, like, let's all just be honest. He is a degenerate. And... And that's, and you know, he's doing that. I'm just saying, like, the simple fact is, he is a weed-smoking degenerate. Well, that's kind of hurtful, Nick saying that, and then Dalton out there calling him just just a fucking degenerate. How could it get worse? Well, maybe if there was a, a Telegram group chat with all the uh, upper echelon of uh, the Catboy army that just did nothing but shit on Ethan Ralph, like this one that got shown last night, uh, plus the sex tape shit. Oh, you mean Guntgate? Laugh my ass off. It doesn't help that this is the third picture that comes up when you Google search Ethan Ralph on Google. Now, why would they be upset that Ethan Ralph, best friend of Nick Fuentes, is the third search result of them holding each other? I think it should be the first result. I think the first result when you Google either Ethan Ralph or Nick Fuentes should be a picture of them together. I think every result should be just those two together forever. Right, right underneath it from Beardson Beardley, part of me wants to pull a Patrick on him just to get it over with. Pull a Patrick. A Patrick. Oh, they're talking about getting rid of Ralph. Uh, you're probably right. Uh, it was from Nick. He's self-destructing. He's going to be off the platform soon. We may ban him from AFPAC. So uh, the response, do it. Well, if you ban him from AFPAC, then I might as well do, uh, do it because the dude takes any little slight as a declaration of war. No, we can handle it. We already had to ban some people. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Cozy Bros. I thought it was a happy family over there. What's going on? So this is multiple paragraphs from Nick about him. Here's the thing. We gain nothing from getting sucked into this. If anything, it just diminishes the seriousness of what we're accomplishing by getting into a shit-flinging contest with Ethan Ralph. We want to disengage as cleanly as possible. This is our best interest. That whole world is degenerate and toxic. The drama, commentary community, those people are all low IQ, degen scumbags. We do not want them, or we do not want to be in their world. Welcome to that world, Nick. You've, you walked in the door of your own free will. That's why you're doing Twitter spaces every night, talking about vomiting up McDonald's on your bathroom floor and crying about Jaden. So... Here's Nick Fuentes and Beardson Beardley talking about getting rid of Ralph. This probably would have been around January or February. And they're talking about not letting him to AFPAC and how the fuck do we get rid of this fat retard? And the funniest fucking thing about it is when Nick did his little libertarian film festival shit at Chuck E. Cheese or whatever rinky-dink fucking theater they had to go to, Ethan Ralph wasn't invited. So even though this is a couple months old, they're still following through with it. They don't want to associate with Ethan Ralph. <laughs> Would you like to see Ralph's reaction as this is being read out to him? Uh, it was quite funny. You can see the look on his face. It's almost, he's just stunned. He's stunned that uh, they probably all fucking hate him. Privately, publicly, just shit on him. On him to just get it. Oh, <laughs> they're already talking about stabbing him in the, the back. Patrick. Whoa, they're Beardson. They're going to pull him Patrick. Beardson is saying that he's going to pull a Patrick on you, Ralph. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Ralph I, bros, was, I don't feel so good. I thought he was your Gamergate brother, Ralph. No. I oh, thought no. you two were tight. Simon. It looks like they're already planning your downfall in private, Ralph. Hang on, Simon. <laughs> Hey, 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 do you know any info of this? Yeah. We were trying to figure this out. 
<laughs> so well, well, Nick's been saying he's trailer trash. He's this. He's that. Like even the cozy chat can't cope about that. Yeah. yeah so, oh shit. So I want to ask you, Simon, because we were asked. Uh, do you notice how silent Ralph has gotten? <laughs> he's, I think his little pig brain is is alternating right now. He's thinking, do I get mad or am I going to be sad? Which, which, mad or sad? Those are the two levels that he can go to. And because he's got his glasses on to hide the googly eyes that he has now, we can't really tell. So he's left He's left in utter silence, just kind of dumbfounded by it. Uh, yeah. So so Ralph is a huge gambler. He likes Vegas and all this stuff. And, right, right, and, right. and, and Nick had his premiere of his movie in that uh that what was it new vegas theater but ralph was wasn't invited Mexican theater. no he wasn't invited now do you know anything about that like why he wasn't invited or did he just not want to show up or is this why they've been all talking shit behind his back is this why oh be real i mean they've been talking shit behind ralph's back the entire time back when i was in the movement they would talk shit behind ralph's back i mean at half pack one he came over the uh the airbnb that an intern rented and uh my wife was making snacks she was making she made a big batch of brownies actually and this is a funny story um she put them out for all the groypers all the leaders to eat or whatever and I guess there weren't very many uh, people eating them. And Ethan Ralph comes over and he looks at the the plate and he says, hey, is, is anyone going to finish these? <laughs> and, you know, throughout the night, we just see all of the brownies disappear as Ethan Ralph just sticks more and more of them into his gullet as he's like shit face drunk or whatever. And as soon as he left, of course, everyone there at AF was making fun of him and talking about how fat he is. They literally, I want you guys to understand what he's telling you. That's a pig trap. Here's what I think happened. I bet you everybody in America first, whenever they have Ralph at an event, they set up pig traps. They're like, hey, this fat fuck will eat anything. So we're going to put a pig trap out of like two to ten pounds of food. And nobody's going to touch it. We'll set up cameras. I bet there's secret camera recordings of this, of their pig traps at AF events. <laughs> if you go to like AFPAC and you see a table with food on it, nobody's touching it. That's the pig trap. So they secretly film him eating by himself, drunkenly crying all night long. There's probably hours of footage from AFPAC and other events of Ethan Ralph stuffing his fat, stupid face, getting fed from a pig trap as they laugh and laugh and laugh about it. And he, he doesn't know. He's unaware. Everybody's giving him thumbs up and they're smiling at him. <laughs> and they're all just holding back tears of laughter, trying not to let him know that they're, that you know it's a pig trap that's been set for him. He's fallen for their shenanigans. Now, eventually, this is going to lead to a fight. Um, I, I don't care what anybody says. Nick and Ralph are going to go at each other, and it's going to be funny as shit. Uh, you know, I've enjoyed laughing about Cum Detective and everything else, but Ralph will be vicious about it. <laughs> Ralph will be really mean about it, Nick, when it happens. So, you know, it's going to be funny to me when that does. But let me give you a little, a little preview of what that's going to look like from the olden days when they fought each other before. Then you posted a picture of me and my wife, which my wife was. You know why you did that? You you were trying to roll up. Why your, did I do that? Your phone. Why did I do that? Ethan? Okay, okay. Well, tell me why you did it. You're here. Why don't you just say it? Oh, just to show, just to show the real winner, yeah. Mr. Ethan Ralph. Just, 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 to, show, yeah, just, uh, just to drag picture. my wife into it. Right? No, I, it's I not want that. A wife it's that you drug her into this. I want a wife who doesn't. It's that you <laughs> drug her into this. And then when I talked about your your sister oh. being a fucking you know race mixer herself, that, that's a lesbian fucking black chicks, you got all mad. Another you and your... uh, do you remember in my debate with Nick when I brought up that Ralph had made these allegations against Nick's sister and Nick right away was like oh yeah he did say that but Ralph when he was stream sniping it denied it I never said that that's a lie Medicare oh there you go there you go that's him saying it multiple times uh, he said it uh, much more um, uh, forcefully uh, in the full clip that's not you know not included here cleaned up for YouTube a little bit uh, but yeah, and his voice does sound different. You're right, Chad. Uh, I think this is this is uh, Ralph before they set all the pig traps. Your fanboy started talking about flagging me, so I, you know, I had to had to delete a few things. Uh, sure, sure. My account over your dumbass. I mean, can you control yourself for fu this? Is why he got locked up for public oh, yes. disorderliness. Yes, you yes, can't yes. control yourself. So yes. you can't control. You talk about thought patrol, but you can't even thought patrol your own sisters. So.
It's okay. not a good idea to attack me when you're you're like five foot one. You're I'm not five one. one. Here we go. Here we go again. Please. Okay. So you're you're a little man. You're very overweight. You've been arrested. You've been in jail. And you attack my teenage sister, who's who's not even twenty years old, who's in college. And, and not only do you attack her, she's not in, like your wife goes on your shows. Your wife is is in the community. She's involved. My sister is not involved. She's not she's not a she's not on the battlefield. She's completely not involved. She's he posts a picture from my sister's private Instagram of her with a black friend of hers and says this constitutes evidence that she is race mixing and she's a she no no I'm sorry he said she's some kind of coal burning degenerate or something to that effect. No, yes, that's the you term you attack my burn. family. Ralph is attacking me based on my race, but he seems not to care about race himself nick's sister is participating in this degenerative vile behavior try to 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 finesse that out what's the difference there you fucking fat retard can you tell me what the yes. subtle nuance is there the difference please no bully sister, please no bully do you know where the fuck dude. you are dude this my is the goddamn internet talk. nobody gives yeah. a fuck about you oh please don't bully me wow. my sister and bake the last and all these people and Look oh god this. please be nice to them you're you're absolutely vile you're as ugly on yeah, the inside it's just, it's as just you honest. are on the you, outside you you fucking attack how you attack and then run you and cry are, when, when you, you get what you gave right back at you you're obese and you <laughs> i love the ending to that you are you are you are obese <laughs> It's just, it's, you are a, you are a little man, and you are obese. <laughs> I like how Nick pretends he doesn't know all this shit, but this is years ago, and he's calling him a five foot one felon, a fat five foot one felon that goes after people's families. Nick totally knows about it. That's why he's scared. I love the fact that Ralph and Nick are scared of each other because they know their fight is going to be an ugly one, so they have to pretend to like each other. That's the reality of their relationship, and it is fantastic. <laughs> way to way to fuck both of yourselves over you stupid idiots mm. i suppose we should talk a little bit about our boy baked alaska now you may be familiar but he took a plea bargain he's now a federal informant in ink on paper it's going to be uh, sentenced to his full thing on the 12th of january i believe but until then he's got to sit down and do interviews and let him go through his social media and devices if they want to it was just him just him, uh, you know, doing normal stuff. Nothing to worry about, boys. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Is a uh, uh, baked is uh, just doing his thing. Just uh, hanging out, and doing you know IRL streams at different locations. Don't pay attention to the building. <laughs> Federal Alaska. Nothing to be worried about. Nothing to be worried about. Now, uh, Kino Casino was using Power Chat, and I had uh, some issues with that after finding out that Baked Alaska was involved. <laughs> Why would you be worried about that, Jim? Why would this man make you worry that he has some financial involvement with a uh, a super chatting system and he's also cut a deal with the feds? I don't know. But I saw somebody post that, oh, well, Jim lied on the stream. Jim said things that weren't true. So I put together a super cut just so everybody knows that everything I brought up on that stream was 100% related or uh, uh, told uh, by uh, Lulz, Louise, whatever, however you say his fucking name. Let's, let's roll that footage. So you can you can you can judge for yourself if it's true or not. He says, "Oh, I met with Nick Fuentes, and you know we we worked it out." But the weird thing is, Luis says, "Is I met I was going to meet with him anyway. I was meeting with Nick's developers and my developer." But the next day after the spur, that I mean, it got Nick's attention, obviously. Right. And um, we had a meeting that we had already planned, but we didn't plan for it to be the next day. So you uh, and I get Nick, this call you and Nick with only? Nick. Uh, no, no, it was like, uh, it was like our developers and him and his developers. I mean, his plan is, and I don't blame him, man, you know, is I want to make this, uh, the super chatting uh, thing and then sell it years from now and make some money. I mean, more yeah. power to him. I intend for power chat to be a competitor with stream elements and stream labs one day. Mm -hmm. And so. I mean, when that day comes, I ultimately intend to sell it. When no, I, I, you know, I know when Louis started this, he they didn't make any money. That's not true anymore. Off Google Pay, it's now ten percent fee coming off, three percent for Google, seven percent for him. I don't know if that's quite. I mean, that's I'll, literally what he said three days ago. That's, on an that's interview. what he said. We have started taking a percentage off some transactions now. What transactions? But, um, Google Pay and stuff. Well, do you know of the percentages that they're taking off of? 
Is it like a 3%, 1%? Google Pay takes 2.9%. So with 7.1% plus that 2.9%, it equals a flat 10%. Right. Well, it, the funny thing is, in the interview, uh, Lewis is uh, like uh, he thinks that you two are going to come crawling back on your hands and knees. Uh, I think he refers to you as bitches and says that you'll beg him uh, to get back on the platform no. because you won't be able to use anything else. Okay. I think Kino Casino is a bigger fat than ever for dumping power chat. When I went to, dude, you saw the clips. When I went yeah. to bat for you the way that I did, yeah. you guys are going to drop me. I agree with you, honestly. I Biggest think that's the in the world, bro. Bulls. I think they Biggest should still be using power chat, and also they're gonna come back crawling, and you know that. I so yeah, I. So bro. Do they're I. gonna get banned. They're gonna from get everything banned else. again. Uh, the prosecutors want Bake to serve six months in federal prison, and he is gonna take the plea deal this time. So he's he's gonna be facing six months. He's he thinks he's gonna chance. serve. Yeah, he thinks he's wow. gonna serve in Florida. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Danny Jim told the truth on uh, every point that he pointed out. And also, when he was talking about that plea bargain, he's absolutely right. I mean, Baked ended up taking it because uh, this was before that, before Baked decided to work for the federal government. Look at him with those power chat receipts. Don't mind me. I'm just talking to my handler. Oh, oh, hey, it's me and my boy. It's my boy, Ethan, hanging out at the Hoover building. Don't, don't know. Uh, Hoover building. Oh, yeah, they make uh, vacuum cleaners. That Hoover. That's the Hoover building we're at. The vacuum guys. Don't worry about it, folks. We're at the vacuum store. Shameful. Just shameful. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man. Oh, it's been a fun month. It's been a fun month. Next month, it's going to be more fun. Trial of Chris Chan. We finally get to get into the depths of Aether, or Acer, Acer Thorn. God, I can't say the name. The trials are. So Acer Thorn is a YouTuber that has sued multiple other YouTubers, and he lost in court. He, so, he sued a bunch of fucking people, and he finally lost. And it's like the, it's the end of the journey. And so I can finally put together all the Acer, or Acer Thorn shit and talk about when he uh, stabbed his father and then sued him for it. Talk about when he sued a school for $80 billion. Uh, talk about all the false DMCA's, all the fake lawsuits, just all the crazy shit. But I wanted to give you guys a preview, chat, because you deserve it. <laughs> of who who Acer Thorn is, right? Because it's been a theme this stream for July. Uh, three different people, well, four different people, all involved in the legal system. Chris Chan going before the grand jury, Ralph in criminal, civil, and family court, Baked Alaska taking a federal plea deal, and Acer Thorn going through civil proceedings trying to sue YouTube, as well as like 80 different YouTubers. But who is who is Acer Thorn? Who is the turkey man? Well, this is the clip that got him really mad. The accidental live stream, which a court has ruled, is now usable. You can, you can, you can, well, you could anyway. But uh, the, legally, the court actually explicitly said, you can show it as much as you want. So I want to introduce you to Acer Thorn. <laughs> uh, or as I like to call him, the Turkey Man. For interventions, they could prove powerful in years to come. What the Senate and other political institutions in the U.
I, I, I love that clip. I, I woke my wife up the first time I heard that clip at like three in the morning. I woke her up laughing so fucking hard. <laughs> it's one thing to be a rage pig. This dude literally is possessed by a turkey. He gets so mad. Shh, this this is an hour and a half. We're we're watching the whole th- well, maybe not the whole thing, but a lot of it next month. It's an hour and a half live stream of him walking around shirtless, eating raw hot dogs, and gobbling like a turkey as he threatens to murder people. It is the best video I've ever seen. That's like old YouTube shit. <laughs> just he gobbles when he gets. I have to play it again, just at least till we hear some more gobbling. Just look at him, look at him, scarf it down. <laughs> He's so hungry for raw hot dogs. <laughs> he whimpers at the end. He whimpers. It's not just turkey sounds. He whimpers. <laughs> it's a soft little turkey whimper. <laughs> I fucking love that. It's so insane. Oh my god. And he lives, you know there are hookers buried in those walls. Look at this place. This is like the setting for a horror movie. When when prostitutes go missing, the walls are the place you start to look at this place. <laughs> it's like, look at the bottom left. Look at the bottom left. Look at his pillow. That's That's got to be urine. That has to be pure urine. That you can't get that color on a pillow unless you are using it as a toilet. Maybe he uses a smell from his piss to, uh, his piss pillow to make people not notice the dead bodies that are literally buried in the wall. They have to be. They have to be buried in the wall. Oh God. I don't know what he's doing off camera. Is he hitting himself? It kind of sounded like that whimper sound and this the I don't know what he's doing. You hear that reverb on the floor? Like that's a big boy. Like he's shaking the house. When he stomps around gobbling like a turkey, there's structural damage being done. It's so, this is so insane. I love it. Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine if this was an apartment complex and this dude lived above you? And every night at like two in the morning, all you heard was gobbling, gobbling and stomping. And you don't know what the fuck's going on. And all you smell is piss. Like what the, what, it, what's happening upstairs? What is going on upstairs? Did, did the turkey, the turkey language give way for, a, for for one, like, human English word? I swear it's button. Button! Button! Oh, my God. Oh, I've been waiting to talk about this dude for the ever. I swear to God. Acer Thorin, holy shit.
Oh, you're for such a trait. It's so insane. The lawsuits and the videos. It's uh, I imagine an hour and a half of a man eating raw hot dogs, screaming like a turkey. It's the best shit that's ever been put online. <laughs> it's absolutely the best shit that's ever been put online. Oh my god. <laughs> How can you not love it? How can you not love it? Oh, what a fun July. It's been a pretty great July. Uh, watching Ralph take L after L after L after L. Watching Baked Alaska get out as a federal informant. Getting excited for the Chris Chan going to the grand jury in a week. Acer Thorne losing his case so we can watch all the turkey gobbling footage we want. Oh, what a fantastic month. <laughs> it's brought lots of joy to me. Having a good time over here. Um, I hope you all have had a wonderful month. I hope you all have had a great time. Uh, next month is going to be a little different. I Hopefully Ralph's in prison so we don't have to waste too much time on him. And we can get right into the Christian trial. And right into the Acer Thorn shit. And uh, there are two others. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, but those will be coming up as well. <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. Uh, now before I get to Super Chats and do all that shit. Of course. Oh, you know, uh, it's just... It's tragic. How can I breathe and sell hats? You know, we all heard baked. It's just, it's weird. Why would you, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, Deadbeat Dad Collection. Last, last time I'm shilling it, folks, before you all fuck off till next month. Be sure to pick up a t-shirt, a mug, and a sticker. And Ralph, if you're still stream sniping this, be sure to remember it's over 10,000 viewing. And that's another L for you. Not only am I selling shirts laughing at you, but 10,000 plus people are laughing about it with me. Oh, take that L. Take that L. Call me Adrian, bitch, because you're taking that L. <laughs> All right, we will get to Super Chats. Uh, I'm going to do a small break, grab a drink. We'll get into that. Everybody else, have a fantastic end of the month. Looking forward to August. Oh, boy. Chris Chantrell, again, pay attention. That's August 8th, I believe, when it goes to the grand jury. Please let it be a trial. I don't ask people to pray a lot. <laughs> I'm literally riddled with cancer. I haven't asked you to pray for that. I'm asking you to pray that Chris Chan goes to trial <laughs> and then it's fucking televised so we can all watch it together every goddamn day for the next five months. Make it happen, chat. <laughs> Press P to pray that this trial happens. We all need to fucking see it. It needs to fucking happen. It needs to happen. Okay. Let me just do this. Right, that's good. I'll put a little music on. Take one last break. We'll get into Super Chats. Everybody, thanks for coming out. I will see you at the end of next month. Uh, there might be a stream in between them I'm trying to set up right now. Uh, is a little spoiler with a whistleblower, <laughs> which could turn into a shit show. I don't know. I could be getting pranked or it could be a really big deal. We'll find out. So that's something else to look forward to in August. Uh, but for now, uh, have a good evening. I will see you all uh, next month, my fellow Chud Buds. Be thankful uh, that you're not Ethan Ralph, and press P to pray that we get that Christian trial, because we all need that Christian trial. Hello, everyone. Do you know who this is? Yet you have absolutely no idea. Of course. Wow. Somebody going to be famous. Real famous. <laughs> I sit here writing to you now with my exceptionally long penis buried deeply and normally into my vagina butt. Isn't that neat? Charlie Hunter 77 has joined the game. Call 911. This place needs to be swatted. It's obnoxious. <laughs> you have a bully head ball. You don't find people being bullied into suicide on 4chan. I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, if he says any more bad words, I'm going to hang up on him. He doesn't own Key Farm, and he died last night. A little kid named Moon owns Key Farm. Stay! Oh, fuck! No! How do they make this more and more epic every time? We're all defending ourselves! I'm sorry, I'm a soy filled bitch with like videos. Hey, hey, hey! If we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, it, you know, th just a tweet that mentions the hashtag game again, it, it, it doesn't necessarily matter how you use it. Man, 
the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking hands. It's 2019. I can't believe anybody believes in a seven fucking ball of water. True. I bet you when Jim finds out, he's gonna just give me so much shit. One never knows when the homosexual is about. I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. I aim as well as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I said it's not even hot You are not allowed to bring her to the hospital. No. No, you can get no permission to fucking do it. You gotta be kidding. It's, it's just this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Now put that in your pipe. I definitely cheated on Super Mario with Sonic the Hedgehog. Stop doing this stuff. He's like the blue uh, seductress who takes me out into the night and does wonderful things to me. And that stop! How could a Yorkshire Terrier live in the wild? <laughs> it's in plain sight, but you just don't see it. You know what I mean? Okay, chat. Oh, boy. Oh, it's super chat time. Let's uh, update that a little bit. One second. There we go. Oh, hope you all have had a good month. Let's get into the super chats before my voice dies on me. We'll go as far as we can. Oh, boy. Trying to do a Ralphish impression is really fucking up my throat raw. Oh. <laughs> and there are, better, there are better impersonations out there. Obviously, it's hard to really funnel the rage pig, but um, I try. First one coming in from <laughs> goddamn from Ethan Ralph's dead mother. Uh, believe it or not, Ronnie didn't beat that boy hard enough. He stole all my medicine and social security checks, and then he stuck me in a coffee can and saved me, Jim. Hurtful. It's hurtful. From the interest. Uh, won't be able to catch this one live. Shout out to Metacore's Lunacord Archives channel for the replay. Hope you're doing well. Have a good stream and catch you, Chud Buds, in August. Joshua Roberts. Whoa. Oh, I, I see. You want me to do this like um, <clears throat> like Andy would do? Whoa. Big dodo there, folks. From uh, John Snyder. Jim for fear, even if he's a potato. Uh, Caleb Lambright. This tweet was brutal, Jim. Please don't bully the pig, please. From the belch off. Uh, Ralph, I know you're watching this, so let me just say, please log off, get a job, and come to Jesus. Dante Rage, I am for, foregoing my ritual weekend crack habit. Uh, boyfriend is Hunty Biden. To super chat that I would rather smoke crack than watch Ralph. Anthony Wildman, two VTubers, one cup. Rapali Frog 64 what do you think of Andy's abortion rant and Ralph's reaction to it? It's funny that Ralph is pretending to be anti when he has always been pro-choice. I think it's a weird moral, <laughs> it's a weird moral high ground that goes along with Ralph's uh, fake Christian grifting. Uh, he doesn't give a shit uh, about anything, really, other than, uh, you know, how many truffles he can hunt. <laughs> That's really what he cares about. From a Veggie Bat, Ralph and Golem voice, which I can't do because my voice is fucked. Uh, we love Daddy Jim. We loves him with all our hearts. Pay attention to us, Daddy. No, we hate Daddy Jim. We hates him. Uh, Justin Ray Bradley for 50. I don't know how much a carton costs anymore. That's uh, a good start. From Lucan, a couple weeks ago, a girl at a gas station complimented me on my hat and mentioned she loves your videos. Everyone goes to Jim's store and buy a hat. It's factually proven to help you talk to girls. There you go. Chat, you heard it from Lucan himself. Five stars equals pussy slaying. It's confirmed. From John Marcus. Hey, Jim. Grant and John are listening in uh, NC once again, sir. Chud Energy. From Poppy Bagel LLC for 50. Thoughts on the board? Ape Yacht Club talking about Australopithecus and other poll references. I've never seen anyone as prominent as Yuga Labs go that poll without getting noticed. Also, NFTs are retarded. Rare peps are a terrible investment. I'm so out of the circle on that shit. I, I, I'm I the last person you want to ask about NFTs or cryptocurrency. See, I like to browse the biz board because I find it funny. But I am I, <laughs> asking me anything related to investment on anything is a horrible mistake. 
In fact, asking any YouTuber about investment is a horrible fucking mistake. <laughs> Spend your money wisely. And if somebody wants you to uh, buy a fucking picture that you can right-click on, maybe maybe think it over first. From uh, Max Sage, Gem first stream, I'm actually catching. How has your health been? I hope your treatments are going well. Tell Jade I said hi and have a sweet day. Uh, it's it's going. <laughs> it's it's going. Not the best, but it's going. From Sebastian Monroe, next time Nick Fuentes is on Timcast IRL, everyone should super chat asking if criminals are based and who is Spartacus. Good stuff as always. A woo! Uh, and don't forget, if you do happen to super chat if Nick Fuentes is on Timcast, ask him about his best friend, Ethan Ralph. Uh, Drew Matig, uh, Jim, can you please define the following? One, Chud. Two, Ethan Ralph. Could Ethan Ralph become a Chud? Uh, chud isn't a thing. It's a lifestyle. All right. It's an energy. It's an aura that emanates from us, from us all. It's undefinable. And could Ethan Ralph become a Chud? No, you have to be a person. Pigs can't be Chuds. Come on. From Jordan Ogle. Hiya. Sorry I exposed your true identity, Jim. Everyone in Anime Fest now knows that Jim has always been a girl with a voice changer. <laughs> well, I've been outed. From Zanich, here's a Fiverr Daddy Jim Sui. From Dak Jack, uh, been waiting or been watching since the Jim 81 days. You've kept a lot going, or a lot of us going on through these odd times. Cancer is a hell of a disease. Hope you get better. Well, thank you. From Rarar, hey Jim, keep up the good work and say, can you say welcome to the sushi bar? Welcome to the sushi bar. From Michael Alberto, would you be interested in a stream with me, Turkey Tom, Augie, and Kai, both on YouTube and Cozy? If yes, Tom and Augie will reach out on Twitter. Uh, maybe. What are, what are we talking about? Am I being set up by by the Catboy Club? Michael, are you a, are you a triple agent now? <laughs> I thought they banned you after last time. Didn't they all get angry at you for, for letting the Super Chats play? For letting the audio of the text-to-speech shit play? Which I don't blame you. You made a fuck ton of money. But I thought they threw you out for that. From uh, John Manfreda, Griff King with 3K Spurgs 20 minutes early. From Not a Troll, Medicare Masochist says hello. Thanks for the last as always. Ooh, big $200. Whoa, Ashton! Am I doing it right? Is that, is that how I'm supposed to do it? Uh, Simon, Simons. Uh, imagine, if you will, Rings of Redemption, Boogie, Movie Bob, and Ralph rubbing their fat rolls against each other, greased up with Pizza Hut Grill runoff. Well, thank you for the mental image. Uh, Eric Hartman, Daddy Jim, I need you. From Jeb Bush, look at the stream, see the gun, the super chats are removed. The Ralph Amell radio controls, the Holleran broadcast radio control, the Discord Twitter eyesight controls, even in the thin skulls of Nick Catboys. From cute thing, Jim debate, Vouch should say trans rights, a woo. I don't know. I think a, a debate with Vouch would, uh, <laughs> would degenerate really quickly. Oh, see, my, my debate tactic with Vouch would be um, reading, reading his Discord logs about chicks jacking horses off. That would be my opening statement. And then every statement after that would be me repeating him talking about women masturbating horses. That's, it would never go anywhere. He'd be very angry. He'd be very angry about that. Uh, Sebastian Monroe, did you get, uh, do you get medical grade there? Want a splittable? Uh, you know, Minnesota actually accidentally legalized marijuana as edible and drinkable form, which is weird. Uh, not smokable, though. But but somebody tricked, uh, I, mean, I, I guess, I don't know how they got it through. They did, they did a little fooling around and got some of it through. So uh, it's not even medical grade. It's just legal. It's like consumable, or uh, pot is legal now, basically. Uh, John Snyder, hair money, you potato nibble, love you, Jimbo. From Renzo Verdaz, uh, just here to give you shekels and catch the stream later when I'm not the Noagey KG. I've got no idea what's going on with a gun and his Wrangler is going to eat a big <laughs> a Bug Mac and shit my pants. See ya, Hoss. Well, hopefully your day in the Noagey KG goes well and they don't make you do the boom, boom, clap. I know the ritualistic humiliation of the uh, of the Noagey when you show up to work and they want you to sing songs for their amusement. <laughs> I really want to do like a super cut of that. Uh, I love wagey KG stories, but I want to do a super cut of all the businesses that make their employees do that fucking boom, boom, clap dance shit and just make like an hour of it. The most depressing hour that's ever been put on the internet of forcing people that hate their jobs to smile and dance for their bosses. It just sounds so awful, man. 
Uh, Toxic Soup Man, Sam Fisher does not have laser eyes, and Orban still never go us that free buffet. From Lauren Harper, I hope things are going well for you. Josh showed a clip on stream where Bibble said the gut is moving to Florida. Do you think it's true or a gay op? Probably fake. I, I don't know. I don't I don't really care where Ralph lives. I just find it amusing that he does dumb shit wherever he goes. See, it's it's it doesn't really matter what uh, Airbnb garage attic Ralph is hiding in. He's going to do dumb shit no matter where he is. Uh, from James Smith. It's funny that the Ralph Mail will cheer for someone else on to fight Andy, but won't man up and fight for the unborn himself. Aaron Vice, The Fallen Leafs tell a story of a Chud Bud whom ushered in an age of Chud, all hail Chud and Lord Jim James Drake from Union Bridge as monkeypox. <laughs> uh, how am I going to say this? Kinku Zealot, Jim, uh, do you still talk to Big Al 2K6? First video I ever saw of yours was the Sandra Lee commentary. Thanks for all the chuckles, Chud Bud. I haven't talked to Big Al in forever. I think it's been like, God, like half a decade. Uh, Gryffindor, we ever finished the Dead Egger and Deviant After Dark's videos? Also, any Ross updates? <clears throat> um, I don't know what's up with Ross. I actually answered that one uh, at a couple of streams. People seem to want to like an update on him. And I'm not really doing videos, so uh, there won't be a, a Dead Egger or Deviant After Dark. Uh, Sebastian Monroe, I want my dancing pudding emote back. Damn it. I might actually be able to add one. Uh, let me see if I can do that. I think with the membership stuff, you can do that. Uh, Violet, love you, Cancer Man. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Cam or Caleb Lambright. I'd like to order. I'd like an order of pork and cat with a side of salt. From Josh Sketch Show. Serious question, Jim. Are there any right wing personalities that aren't locals now? Feels like they're outweighing the left nowadays. It's as if the only tactic to own Biden is to soil their pants harder than he does. Well, <clears throat> uh, the internet's like a a cycle. Right. It kind of it, it just it cycles around or a pendulum. It swings back and forth. You know, for a while it was uh, Christian fundamentalists getting made fun of by atheists, and then atheists getting made fun of by everybody. And then it, it swings back. And then it was, uh, well, it was just low cause in general. And then it became political and it was more left wing and now it's more right wing uh, there. You know, the Internet's full of goofy, retarded idiots. And there's plenty to laugh at, I guess, would be <laughs> would be my answer to that. Uh, just give it time. <laughs> yeah, I like Acer Thorn. Let's take Acer Thorn. I can't think of that as political, as left or right. I think of it as an obese man gobbling like a turkey while he eats raw hot dogs. <laughs> there's no more there's no more to that than oh, an insane person gobbling like a turkey. That's the kind of internet shit. God I miss that. Same with Christian. I don't really think of Christian as political. I just kinda think of Christian as insane. And uh, you know, kind of that old school internet. You know, the fun shit, the really goofy, weird, fucked up shit. Ah, I hope that makes a resurgence. I hope that kind of shit makes a resurgence. Uh, from Shitlord, Jim, I tried to get Ralph to play some music that isn't jock or garbage, and he got scared of it, so I want to see if you've got the balls to play Black Magic SS Black Hand. Well, if I remember at the end of the stream, I'll, I'll take a listen. Unless you're setting me up for something, I don't know what that is. From Gojira, uh, did you hear about the Xander Hall drama, It's Wild? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Is this, um, uh, no, yeah, it was something, wait, 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 it was, uh, something about his girlfriend, right? Like his girlfriend in meth or his girlfriend in like a, uh, a, a criminal charge that I'm, I, I vaguely have heard about it, but that's about all I know. Uh, Christopher Beller, we're definitely fixing to holler. The hilarity never ends. Cheers. Arc light. Cheers, Jim. Uh, cheers back at you. Courier Jackalope 91. Danny, Jim, what is your favorite uh, petrol to sniff? Also, thanks for another stream. You're my favorite hat salesman. Well, I do love to sell hats. And um, I don't sniff petrol. I save the money to purchase more materials to build more hats uh, to sell to more people. NPC user 1993, Ralph's a hollering suey from E1000 Mega123. How much would you pay to see a fight between Ralph and Hunter Biden? Who would win? Well, Hunter would, hands down. There's, that's not even a fucking question. And I would pay zero dollars because I wouldn't be interested. Uh, Sir or Cirrus Dragoon. Hey, Dad. Sorry for the holler and hog. Wants to twin anime way with the Gaza Strip. Hope you can get the drive resurfaced quickly. Also, check out Scrapped Princess. I, I think you'd like it. Much love. I, I'll take a look. From Chrome Paint Addict. Hey, Jim. Long time fan and learned I and learned I have gender dysphoria. So who do you think would make the best uh, pay P1G when I grow up, fat, when I grow fat boobas? 
Republican Nick Fuentes, the Lightbringer, Ethan Ralph. Oh, best pay pig. I see what you're saying. I thought P1G was slang. I'm so old, I don't know. Is that the is that the new shit they're talking about on the TikToks? Who would be the best pay pig? Probably Nick. Right? Doesn't he have all that money? You'd probably get the most out of him. From Almond Tofu. Hey, Jim. This is my first super chat, so I'm a bit shy, but I wish you and Jade good health and a great August. Thanks for the laughs, Suey. Oh, thank you. From Joe K, 2022, the year we make bullying great again. Also, rip in peace, Boogie, 1488. <clears throat> Whatever happened with Boogie? Wasn't he scheduled to fight Ralph? Did Ralph bitch out of that one, too? Is that another L we need to count in the category for July? Because Boogie was all for it. He was going to exercise and do all this shit and kept trying to follow up on it over and over and over again. I mean, Ralph already slinked away from the fight with Andy, and now Andy's going to fight at the O2 Arena. And now here's Boogie wanting to do it. <laughs> Is it going to happen again? Is Boogie going to be fighting uh, some other YouTuber for 100 k because Ralph walked away? From uh, Gordon Freeman. Hey, Jim. Thanks for all the fun streams over the years. Been a blast. Weaves of Anarchy. Thanks for the stream, Jim. My favorite anime girl VTuber retired today, but laughing at shitheads online should ma or should cheer me up. Or should cheer me right up. Well, hopefully it does. Uh, Josh Sketch Show again. Got an anime recommendation for you, and since you butchered the name in your Finder stream, I'll make it easy for you. Haruhi Sozumi Ah. It's Bruce Almighty if it was a bitchy anime girl. I bet I still butchered it too, didn't I? From Recluse Nutcase for 35. Jim, do you feel all the virus autism would be over if we all just reached Chud immunity sooner? Well, being a Chud does make you invulnerable to things. That is true. It's that Chud, Chud lifestyle. From Horsey Productions, I got called to serve my heavenly king of glory in Temple, Arizona. Have a pack of uh, Sigsons on me. Oh, well, thank you. From Gaia Incognito. Oh, okay. From Gaia Incognito. Good to hear from you again, Jim. Enjoy a pack of smokes on me. In a rut. Don't be a Ralphamo. Be a Chud, bud. Uh, biggest boss. At the rate things are going, the Cancer Man will outlive Ethan Ralph. Outstanding victory, Jim. Well, that would be the ultimate elf, Ralph, wouldn't it? Giantess admirer, hail, or, hello, Jim. What are your expectations for breath or <laughs> Bre breast of the wild? Breath of the wild, too. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. You know, I saw. Um, let me light a cigarette here. Got to stay healthy. Um, I saw Digital Foundry did a video on Xenoblade Three that said they were using some kind of new technique to make games look better or run a little better on the Switch. And that maybe that's what Breath of the Wild 2 was using. Um, but my honest expectation is that I almost expect like that and Metroid Prime 4 to be like on the Switch 2 <laughs> or the Switch Pro. Like they're holding it back for that. Uh, that's what I think. But we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, from Simon Simons. Really, though, hope you're doing well. You're still the Internet's finest. Hope you're kicking cancer's ass and can get us uh, more content in the future. From Terry Rollin, can you please remind my wife Amanda to stop being Rama Rama? We need that fuel for the generators when Clown World finally eats itself. Well, yes, you will. You will need it for your generators. From Indigo White for 50, thank you for the content, humble or humble hat merchant. Uh, you're welcome. Captain Texas One, I hope you're doing well and get to see which branch uh, this sieve takes down the dystopia tech tree. New docky cover and new gun, hell of a month of the year of the Chud. From Clint Oris, Jimbo, do you think Christian will get out of time served or be sent to the Shadow Realm for another nine years? <laughs> so, gas for the bikes. Okay. Well, <clears throat> um, I think uh, it is possible that the grand jury could come back and indict or whatever, and that the DA might offer some kind of a, a plea deal where they say, you're looking at one to 10 years on this, What is it? Uh, whatever the felony level it is. Uh, we'll give you one year time served for the year you've been in prison. We'll put you on the sex offender registry. Um, we'll put you on some kind of probation or suspended sentence for the remainder of your time. And then you have to be put into some kind of care facility, <clears throat> whether it's some kind of intense group home or institution. Um, that's what I think is going to be worked out. That, that would be my guess. But I'm still hoping that we get a trial. <laughs> I hope even if he gets offered something like that, Chris is like, no. Uh, X epic X Yoshi X, I put my prawn videos aside for you, Jim. Well, thank you. Sebastian Monroe, December, the Rage Pig Can't Handle Midwest Winters. From Projects Done Poorly, Battle of the Driveway will start end of times. It is foretold. From Waxican, Jim, I need you to look up Skunk Ape. Since Ralph is in Florida now, I can finally use my Skunk Ape hunting license. 
the fuck is a skunk ape? Uh, Tattooed Gimli. Hey, Papa, was wondering if you'd go on the Geek Room. It's a low call podcast you'd love. Uh, yeah, if hit me up on Twitter. I'm usually usually pretty open. I've got a few that I've got to do, but uh, always could try to work in room, I guess. Uh, it depends, uh, I guess, how I feel. I don't know. My health is kind of up and down, so it's uh, it's it's hard to commit too hard. From Bromany Blank, howdy, slipping Jimmy. Here's my contribution on that cure for your cancer AIDS. Where's the Swatty Squad merch? Do you hate making money, but really thanks for the entertainment, Judd? Hopefully you give cancer the good old slip. Oh, uh, that is true. I forgot to make the Swatty Squad shirts. I, I will get right on that. Uh, but for now, as I said, while you're waiting for those Swatty Squad shirts, there's the Deadbeat Dad collection available at Selfie. Uh Beaver Rassler, uh, the new intro is great. Thanks for the streams. Uh, Frost Flare, hey Jim, been watching for years through all the furry Sargon and the Bath Boy. You always got the best jokes no matter the topic. Thanks. Well, I'm glad you like it. Mexican American male, Jim, are you going to go to heaven or do you think so? Or, Jim, are you going to go to heaven or do you think so? And if so, why? <clears throat> I don't. Well, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I stick around at least long enough to watch the Christian trial. That's my hope. Uh, or my hope is they have uh, cigarettes in hell. <laughs> that would be a nice. Uh, that's a nice trade-off. Uh, Rando number nine, Mister Atrus, sodomized me behind a Best Buy in 2006. He is not straight. Well, I, I hope you get over that trauma. Conrad Sutherland, shout out to Frazier, Ennis, Ronan, and Conrad. The earth must be flat because ladies be curbing us. Get a pack of smokes on us and Merry Christmas, Chudbutt. From Icarus, what a month. Always love hearing from you and watching your content. Hope things are going well for you, fellow Chudbutt. Buy my fucking hats. From Bryden, Jim, you should sell tickets to the amazing event that will be the battle of your driveway. It'll be the event of the year. A very true. Black 11245, have you heard of uh, Cyrax? If you haven't, I would look into it. Pretty interesting rabbit hole. Absolutely insane. From ZT Maz, watching this at work, <laughs> have any nice words to say to my coworkers? Um, whew, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, if your coworkers ended up watching that half naked man gobbling like a turkey, uh, hopefully they enjoyed it. From Aram 1313, this will be my last year of the Chud stream I see before I leave for the military. The Battle of Jim's Driveway, better wait till I get back. Uh, well, you know, we'll see. I'm not the one scheduling it. We'll see when it takes place. Uh, from Waxigan, speaking of hats, can you make a trucker hat variation of your hat? I need some holes on my hats to deal with the Florida heat. I, I will look into it. Uh, from Wolf, all the YouTubers are making plushies now. You should do the same and make a rage pig plush. <laughs> I'm very, like, you know, I, I, I'm not like, uh, maybe they take it more seriously than I do. I'm just using shit that's already established. It's not like I'm out designing things. I don't even know where where would I go to make plushies. <laughs> how would I even how would I even start that process? Uh, Mario Carter thirteen. I spent more on this chat than Ralph has on his son. Very true. Uncle Hall. Hey Jim, can't watch tonight, but there's some. Or er, ah, hey Jim, can't watch tonight, but here's some shekels. Any chance we can get the Swatty Squad hoodie back on the store? I missed the chance to pick it up. I will work on it. From SRDF, congrats to Pippa Pipkin. She'll be the proud mother of her first litter of kits soon and a noble husband, <laughs> Jetstream Sam, that helped make them. From Vivian, always good a day when you stream, Jim. Well, I'm glad you like it. From Tiberian Fiend, hey, Jim, it's my birthday. Can I get a happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday, Tiberian Fiend. From Vil, that uh, new, you got that intro, was cool. It cured my cancer and AIDS. Well, I'm glad it worked. From Autism Forums, Hello, Wayne Lambright. It's me, Mr. Shekelstorm. Oh, you're trying. I know what you're trying to do. Autism forums. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, you're, you're trying to set me up as Mr. Shekelstorm. I see what you're doing. Uh, Selrin, if you want to tell the world that Ralph is a deadbeat dad, but why don't you have merch that just says that Ethan Ralph is a deadbeat dad? Much lower effort. Because uh, cause mine's got a nice hook to it. It's got a nice, it's got a nice laughable hook to it. From Bendak, Jim, check out We Met in VR Chat. From Snots, Gunt's gonna have <laughs> Gunt's gonna have you on his stream whether you like it or not, Jim. All he does now is watch people making fun of him and deny reality. He should rename it the Cope Stream. Uh, very true. From Terry Hesticles, how can you breathe and smoke at a time like this? I know it's tragic. From Das Pooch, always good to hear a stream from the weatherman. Here's ten for the smoke fund. I hope you can buy a pack for that, right? 
Last time I bought one, it was Camel Lights at two eighty five a pack. I wish I had a time machine to that time. Uh, the KCB. Breathing is for Chad's only from Slit Bod Mod. I can't wait for Crip Chan's prison <laughs> saga. Heroic dog. If you make, uh, uh, if you think about it, Worski spent more money on his son than Ralph. <laughs> that is true. From Dragon Lore. Jim here dying in real life from uh, Catch Blades and having a good time while Fed Alaska sits there and cries. I'm just sitting here having a beer and laughing. From None of your Business. Should I cosplay as a gay mustache him at my next uh, or Comic Con? And where can I get a rainbow star ball cap? Love from Hell Satan. I should I should make Bug Chaser merchandise. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's just rainbow caps, all that shit. Uh, just make it a little edgy. From uh, Preston Magley. I have to let you know you're bad at YouTubing by giving you my money. Well, thank you. From Blue Wizard, I would walk one mile and I would walk one mile more just to be the pause pig that dropped dead of a heart attack on Jim's driveway. Uh, Tiberian Fiend is Jim being detained. Hunter 5641, Jim sells baked hats at abortion prices. Uh, Walter Deadman, at first I thought your driveway would put Gettysburg, <laughs> Gettysburg to shame. Now it's looking like it might rival Omaha Beach. I also spent more on the Super Chat than Pigman Ralph spent on his kids, ever. From Autism Forums, <laughs> you're not going to get me to say it, dude. You're, you're, I know you, I'm not going to, I know you want me to say this shit. And I can imagine Wayne freaking out if I did. Slug to the chest for your breathing problem. From Mizuni, <laughs> Mizunashi Akira, uh, consider yourself my kin. Jim, because I'm yet another person who paid more money to you than Ralph sent to his own son. From Jopis Ogrethorpe, if you read this out loud... Oh, see, I stopped before I got to the end. Nintendo one one can you fix flex hats for my giant head, lol? Or can I sell them? I will look at the variations that are available and see if I can... That with a trucker one, uh, I'll see what I can do. Ice Mexican, thanks for the year of the Chud Stream, Jimbo. Uh, but when will you get together uh, with the... Er, when will you and the other E-Daddy Null do a stream together? <laughs> When Ralph, when Ralph is like on live television, running from the law, <laughs> when he's in a police chase, I will stream with, no one I will do a stream covering that live event. When it finally reaches the conclusion to the Ethan Ralph arc, and he is, he is hoofing it, literally hoofing it down the highway at pig speeds, trying to get away from the police. That's, that's when you're getting the, the double daddy straight. Uh, loser in a suit for 50. We've got a 1070 officer sold hats at gunpoint. Need more officers. Spider Dude 93. Rip Jade from Planet Trendy. Dear Jim, I recently dumped my nut job axe at Legoland and I'm now raising our four year old daughter on my own. <laughs> it's been two months and I've done good so far. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. <laughs> are you telling me that you, you, you dumped? Like, are they still there? The way I'm reading this is you dropped your ex off at Legoland. And they, they've stayed there for two months. They've been at Legoland for so probably losing their mind. Like, how many Legos can you build before it just is too much? From Dexter, best damn driveway. Well, thank you. Uh, Mother Freya, hold on, chat. I have some visitors. Uh, Gordon Freeman, what was Jade's reaction to the swatting? Did she care? Uh, she was... <laughs> she, well, I mean, if you listen to the footage, you can hear her laughing. You hear me laughing, too, my little wheezy laugh. Uh, working class father. It looks like a sticker, but I'm not sure. It's it's a little emoticon to da uh, dancing. He's just dancing there. From Anumbi, more like the siege of Jim's driveway. Uh, dissonant lords of idiots. Hey, Jim. I just want to give a shout out to all my Otika bros watching. There's a meetup behind the ramen shop right now. Otika-san Uh N333, Aiden Blair 1 from Brandon Prince. Dan, the security guards for the driveway battle are armed to the teeth. They are. From Joe, the hats are... <laughs> The hats uh, are really nicely loved. They added four stars to keep up the Medicare meta of having to talk with the police. TB and J buying secondhand is more than what Ralph gave to from Brosef42. In case Ralph is still watching, it was fun seeing you get your ass beat up again from Lord Ar Lord Aragon, Battle of Jim's Driveway. Uh, Loretta Silver member asking me to enter a command to switch to face cam uh, from Torg. Who's more degenerate, CWC or the Paws Pig? Well, I mean, CWC fucked his mother. How do you take the crown from that? Uh, Charles Mack, here's a couple of bucks, Jim. Enjoy. Hard light. CWC in court. How we got here, we let that fucking gorilla die. Mario Carter 13, swatted by the boys in felt. 
Butt pirate, butt pirate. Thank you, Jim, or thank you, Mr. Jim Mediker, for the four out of five star content. Just tell everyone to stay back. Don't fear the holler and hog. From Colfish Hat, hat salesman can't be beat. The Rage Pig, why won't you why won't you just die, Medicare? Oink! Rest him. Oh, see that it to my throat there. From GTC, the holler and hog, Rage Pig Ralph and Baked Plea Alaska strike again. Oh well, time to buy a hat now. From Uri Gressel, show your face so Jalaska can covet it. From NCG Goggles, Pig Force One reporting for duty, Swatty Squad for life, Sweetie Squad forever. Year of the Chud, the best year. Love you, Jim. Get better soon. From <laughs> Laloopy, Pickle Gang, rise up. Somerville Dan, can we hear you talk about Patrick S. Tomlinson, or Tomlinson son, Tomlinson's swatting? I am not even familiar with it. So, I, I don't know. I, I'm drawing a blank. I don't follow that particular person, so I don't know anything about their swatting. Uh, from John Doe, hey Jim, just wanted to say that Ralph drinks himself to tears and falls asleep thinking about his ex-wife Nora, A. Lamau. From Michael Craig, will Christian Celia make him an honest woman? <laughs> um, Mephi, X, or Mephi Z, you need to have Pig Force One, oink, ride of the Valkyries. God, that would be great if I could do that. From Griff2501, at least he eventually dies and won't be as a virgin. From Quatza Chapin, uh, the difference between you and the rest of the others is that nothing rattles you and makes you into a money-making event. Screw them, and I hope you outlive Bake, Nick, Ralph, and the rest of the haters. P.S. My name is Edwin from Wisconsin. Arikus, uh, time to bring out the Nintendo Labo suit. I got it locked and loaded with my Nintendo Labo. From Waxican Christian Ammo or Anime Wen. Well, I mean, there is the Spaz, or Spaz Kids animations, which are good, but they're old. Uh, but there's some of the funniest shit out there. I remember watching those back in the day. Uh, that guy on YouTube, Jim, when will you review Madoka Magica? <laughs> it's, there's not any reviews coming. RS3, uh, T Cool Guy. Christian already transferred his energy into Ethan Ralph's Revenge from Salak Trin. I'm probably butchering that name. Uh, we had a call about someone shooting their girlfriend here. <laughs> Don't they know that Jade's cage is constructed from bulletproof materials? I know, you'd think they'd know that. From James Smith, Ralph is blaming you and others for making Chris love his mom. <laughs> how does, how how would I be responsible for making Chris fuck his mother? How, how does that even begin to happen? <laughs> that's, such, that's such a reach with his fat little arms. His little tummy little arms. That's a hell of a reach, Ralph. That's that Medicare's fault, getting Chris to fuck his mama. <laughs> yeah, it's all part of the op, Ralph. All part of that 10-year-long op. You know, I watched that first Chris Chan video back in the day, back in like 2011, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this guy to fuck his mom. Uh, the Unseen, when will Flamenco trial happen? I'm not just Discord holding one. Uh, Bromany Blank, you're a real slippery Irishman, aren't you, Jimmy? Slipping Jimmy can't be beat. Ethan Ralph can't stop the Schizo Squad. Also, Simon won. Jaden won. Andy and PPP won. From Alatrell, uh, Ralph should rewrite his fear article into reference of him running away from Cancer Man Josh, child support, a man he injured for running a red light, Mexican Aquaman, and bowing down to Nick Fuentes Feltingham. Couldn't be me. Could not be me either. Sad. Sad, Ralph. Uh, fan throws. Uh, who needs Depp versus Herd related stuff when we can get a trial about the guy who plowed his dementia-ridden mother? Very true. JC, or Mc, handsome face. I spent more money on car parts in the super chat than Ralph has spent on his child. From Colin Stevenson, uh, the four percent are your American first and Ralph fans, Jim. Polyfrog64, do you think we'll see Flamenco in the local headlines soon? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, why Marte, or, okay. Uh, Wyman R. Taylor Bear. Uh, man, all those American first goobers glow uh, so frickin' bright it's ridiculous. They destroy everything they touch, and it's not simply incompetence or insanity. It's intentional. Anyway, I hope this 20 cures you, Jim. Well, thank you very much. A3 Trucking. Baked Alaska is a fed. Milo is a fed. Nick is controlled opposition, and Ralph is a sack of meat. Just end it, Ralph. They're, sco they're going to snake on you. Uh, Dennis Mann. Gino and company making Christian content more accessible has most certainly had a non-zero impact on the amount of weens out there. From Richard Murray. It's a, another little sticker saying GG. Autism 3, lol, what if Chris doo-doos everywhere during trial? Uh, I, Chris is probably going to do a lot of ridiculous shit during trial, which would be great. Uh, the Bobinator, do you think Ralph getting another Lisbon laceration might fix his googly eyes? 
<laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Texas T, Cope and Seath Bore. Here's some Shekels Gem for Smokes. Also, Seath Harder AF, give up on your failed movement. Uh, Fizzoto, glad you're not dead. I love you, Daddy Jim. Well, thank you very much. Dr. Twinkles, can you please tell Sasha that she can't touch the pool or she'll get AIDS? Well, hopefully she knows that already. Otherwise, it's far too late. Uh, Denizen of Clown World, who would want or who would not want to see a Christian trial unless you are a sympathizing fellow mother lover? Walter Deadman, I'd like to go back in time to the first day Chris got Sonic for the Genesis. Take a bat to it and replace it with a Madden game. All just to see if history would repeat, but with John Madden. <laughs> yeah, like he's screaming about Madden's arms being the wrong color. On like Madden 98 or something. Uh, John Stonehenge, Jim, are the are you the leader of the liberalist movement? I think that movement's dead, to be honest with you. The liberalistisms? I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Lawrence Harper, great stream so far. Any thoughts on Cyrax? Uh, unfamiliar. Uh, Nig Hadrian, the Black Bill. Wikipedia took too long to acknowledge Ethan Ralph is irrelevant. From Avi, say hi to Jim Payton and Ryan for me. The Wilford Brimley Rabbit, coming soon to home video and DVD. From Captain... <laughs> I don't know how you got that name through, but that's great. Can you wish my dad a happy birthday? <laughs> he is a rear admiral with the same last name. Oh, is he? <laughs> is he, though? No. Uh, well, happy birthday, Rear Admiral Bundle of Sticks. Uh, the outline retort, we're uh, receiving reports of King of Pole being catfished and held hostage by a cabal of furry PDF files. They appear to be sacrificing on an altar to Moloch. Stay tuned to ONN. More to follow. Ooh, breaking news. From John Stonehenge. Aim, aim, aim. Stay back, stay back. Aim, aim, aim. From Ed C. Lyon. Even people that we thought that will defeat evil become the thing that they fought against. That's what I find amusing. That's my two cents. From Calbuster, Ethan Puma Ralph reminds me of a toxic friend I had back in high school and shares the same first name and weight. Hmm, coincidence. From a name I can't, I, I don't know how to pronounce because I can't read Japanese or Korean or whatever that is. I, <laughs> I once slept with Ralph's girlfriend, Honest. Ooh, we got a mystery here. Uh, why are you so sad? Because I had to spend $5 to put out a reminder that Beardson, Beardley, and AF were planning on pulling a Judas on the gunt. Project Noble. If Ralph came bursting into the Florida Aquarium, they would have thought a manatee escaped. Very true. Rabbit com. Or ra rabbit corn. Uh, Jim, why is Ralph such a goof? Uh, how do you find all these goofs? Anyway, can I get a BDK and die five? I'm going to get stoned and come right back. I don't know what... I don't, he's just a goofy motherfucker. Uh, from Noble Atlas 88, it's not that Ralph is insignificant, it's that he literally can't fit on the Wikipedia page. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Uh, tape Vault, going through the hardest time of my life and I'm lulled to sleep nightly by old Jim streams. Tuck me in, Daddy Jim. P.S. Watch A Face in the Crowd, 1957. I've already seen that. Uh, a Face in the Crowd. It's not a bad movie. It's a good movie. From Salastrin, uh, so we, we got a chunky hog loose in the aquarium fish man. Get this fat piggy back to his truffle trough. He's a raging wrestle him fish man. Uh, from Sinich, uh, Bibble is an arsler. Simon Simons, what's with all these people? No life, nothing to do, but sit on the computer and whine while drawing government checks. A man in yellow. I know you don't want to play D&D &D with Bibble, but my invitation for Temple of Elemental Evil for 5e, or 5th edition, uh, is always open. What? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. As long as it's not Bibble, I'm always up for a game of D&D. <laughs> uh, Giantess Admirer, hey, Jim, uh, will you get a Switch Pro next spring? I don't know if Nintendo's going to release one. I thought they were going to, and I thought the uh, supply issues was what made it get cut down to just a, you know, OLED revision with, with a larger kickstand. But they might skip the Switch Pro and just do uh, a new console. I don't know what they're up to. Uh, cartographer, Kyle Orson versus Ethan Ruff, let's go. Sid Soft, if I buy a hat, will you play D&D &D with me? Please, if not, I'll cry as well. <laughs> How many hats are you buying? Uh, from Phoenix Lord Osserman, I will eat burgers straight out of the trash, but I will not eat the bugs. From Rabbit Corn, these people don't realize that your docs are out there. Laugh my ass off. Correction, I once slept with Ralph's garbage from our, our foreign admirer there. Uh, giant, or giantess admirer. Jim, I got my BA in studio art in May. Any advice? Uh, go out there and make that money. That's, that's my advice from Beguile Me for 100. Keep breathing, smoking, and selling those hats, Jimbo. We love you. 
Uh, thank you. I will sell as many hats as humanly possible before I finally croak. A Warren Johnson. Hey, Jim, I've been curious if you've ever needed a break when discussing or dealing with these Olympian dramatics. Uh, no, usually it's just, you know, it's a once a month stream, so it's pretty, pretty doable. From, uh, I want to say Wish Mojo, but it's Will's Mojo. Uh, again, another little animated, another little animated figure. Dancing, I think? I'm not sure what it's doing. They should really make the animated emojis bigger. Wouldn't you think? To, to be more visible. From Evil Bunny for 50. Monthly donation is promised. And Bunny Bunny. From Yoden Heim. Happy end of the month, Jimbo. These end of the month streams are always the highlight of the month. Here's to hoping that Chris's trial is entertaining. Same here. Uh, did you know Gaming Weird? I voted for Trump. Again, from our, our forward friend. Beer and meth are cheaper than weight loss. Ask Ralph. From Fook Off. If God is dead, can I eat it? Probably not recommended. From K Vibes, 10K, no multiplier chud. Keep stacking those L beta male Ralph. Love you, Jim. Hope you're doing well. By the way, how bad do you think the new GTA will be? I have no idea how it's going to turn out. <laughs> you know, I just, I want, you know what I want? I want San Andreas again. That was my favorite GTA. I enjoyed it the most. I just want that experience again with the side missions, with the uh, properties you could purchase that had missions related to them and making them more profitable, the gang war shit. I, like, I just want fucking San Andreas 2. That's what I want. Fuck GTA 6. I want San Andreas 2. Uh, Giant is Meyer, do you think four double A bat, or do you think four double A degrees and one BA degree look good? How would you, how would you get four associates, or four double A degrees? I, I must, that must not be associates degree, right? Why would you get four of them? Or did you reverse that? Do you mean one associate's degree and four bachelor's? I mean, more degrees are great, so I, the more shit you got to put on a resume can't hurt, I suppose. Uh, Mario Carter 13, we know Ralph, or we already know Ralph loves accidents. From Sebastian Monroe, bounty hunters rise up. How much uh, for a hogshead? From Aviator Dan's, here's a little bit of money I got from my 18th birthday. Two days ago, I've been watching for years. Thanks for the laughs, Jim. Oh, thank you and happy birthday. The Turkish Zoo, Jim, be honest. You changed your last name because you were tired of constantly hearing O'Shaughnessy, and how do you spell that? Uh, no. No, that's not true. <laughs> I just, once I heard that Key and Peele sketch, O'Shag Hennessy, uh, I was like, uh, time to get rid of it. Time to get rid of it. Time. That's all anybody's going to say now. They're going to call me O'Shag Hennessy, talking about going to my office. Fuck it. Let's, let's pick a new one. From Wild Rover, Finally got a stream live. Thanks for all the laughs and how ridiculous everyone and everything is. Laughter is the best medicine, Jimbo. Much love. From Bendak, at this point, Ralph may have more and more time in court than Ricada. Ryan Cunningham, Ralph's life is a Shakespearean comedy. Evil Bunny for 20. Gas Company called Dono and Bunny Bunny. From Uncle Hall, the Fed and the Gunt, back at it again, SWAT Squad. From Rox, I spent more on your super chat than Hog spent on his son. From Captain Joe. After watching so many of your streams about Ralph, it got me inspired to lose weight. I got, er, I even got my bro to join me after showing him some clips. From Evil Bunny for 30. I informed there was a swatting, which will double my dono to 100 today, 50, 20, 30, and Bunny Bunny. Uh, attempted. Attempted. I don't think the cops are, like, after the first time, they're like, they'll call you up and be like, yeah, uh, so you didn't massacre anybody last time. Uh, you, you planning on it today? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we'll just do a drive-by to make sure that the house hasn't exploded and there aren't corpses everywhere. <laughs> and give us free hats. From Garnett Nard, here's $10 to be an official marker for having 10K viewers. I witnessed it. Since I have more room uh, to type, I'd like to give a shout-out to Josh Moon for being the nicest guy on the internet. From Scott Ryan, lots of uh, laughing emojis. Uh, nope, there's no, no message there, but nonetheless, thanks for the 10. Uh, Blue Wizard, here's a tip for my hav er, favorite haberdasher. Congrats on not being paused. From Deus03, this is becoming the best timeline. Who would have thought instead of Trump taking America via force, it'd be Medicare taking the internet via lulls and laughing at the rage pig. Keep fighting, swatty squad. From uh, Drone Fury, well, Baked and Ralph, address, <laughs> address being Eskimo brothers with a person with HIV. Greetings from Tampa. Uh, that's the question we need an answer to. We'll see if they ever do. Garnet Nard, how long do you think it will take for Nick Fuentes to announce that he has acquired monkeypox? Probably a month. <laughs> It'll probably take a, isn't it like a two-month process? My understanding of monkeypox, right, is you get sick, 
and then you get the the pox, right? The boils, uh, and then it, it's like a month before they they uh, dimple in and then scab off and do whatever they're gonna do. So he probably is gonna wait till it's physically noticeable before he says, "I have monkeypox." From Rudy Scott, Ralph gave uh, Fuentes monkeypox. From Ant Man, poor Michelle Malkin being caught in a photo with Ralph. Do you think she has heard anything about him? <laughs> Somebody probably told her, "Make sure you took a make sh- Michelle." Make sure you take a poop before you meet this man. If he smells even a hint of shit, he's going to start truffle hunting. <laughs> and you're going to need to run. Uh, from DCP, so does Leo Pirate run for being right uh, before anyone else? No. Is that the guy that said 9-11 of, uh, uh, he said, what was it? Gamergate is a 9-11 of the internet? I think that's an automatic L. Uh, from Matthew Perkins, Nick Loves Traps, from Cloud404, Hey, Medicare, have you heard of Deaf Noodles, the budding law call that has made false pedal claims about others? Tag the FBI. He's suing Keemstar because he laughed at him and is now offering to fly people out to roast him. I Is he having a meltdown? Is this like, is this happening in real time or is this shit that's been going on for like a year? I'll have to look into it. Uh, Broken Girls are Us. Missed you, Jim. Take my shekels and take care. Well, thank you. From Vaga, Bibble and Ralph are watching. I'm sure they are. Sh- or were, because the stream's probably over, you know, it's it's at the tail end now. From Rush Pops, uh, Ralph versus Fisherman is a D-list attempt at Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, embarrassing yourself for your wife while she's running the relationship. When pants are dry, or when is she going to drop nukes on Ralph? <laughs> Why would you swear on your dead mother's grave that you're going to take care of this guy, and then you go on the run? Like, what the fuck? Uh, Jack the Whacked, a pack on me for the entertainment you've always brought over the years now. Thanks, Jim. From Captain Again, Ethan has had his ass kicked on every continent he's ever been to. Sapper Bean, I was eating Tyson chicken sandwiches when you played the uh, turkey clip. Thanks, now I'm going to neck myself to remove the vid replaying in my head. From Walter Deadman, are those hot dogs also turkey dogs? Now that is an interesting question. I don't know. We'll find out when we review the entire footage next month. Cloud 404. That's actually just obese turkey Tom from Snots. My dogs are barking back at Acer Thorne. <laughs> Thought Obliterator. Hey, Mr. Medicare, do you know who Undead Chronic is? If so, mention him. He got raided by feds and all his videos got deleted overnight. Love you, bro. I, why did he get raided by the feds? Uh, Superdude93. Be careful, Jim. Konami might sue you for leaking their new Silent Hill monster, Acer Thorne. Mario Carter 13. Acer Thorne is Bohepins without the Spurg friends. I still love that quote from Bohepins. The, and you know, life is like Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, God, that was, I need to get that soundboard again. Uh, Waxican, has life become an adaption of Animal Farm? Everyone in the sector has an animal moniker associated with them. It's so weird, I guess we can add Farmer Jim to the list of your professions. From Wolf, Jim, you will die laughing watching the gremlin. You're truly becoming the laughing god of the internet. Death by internet, Spurg. I'm looking forward to next month's stream. From Frost Flare, already donated tonight, but I will again for the Acer Thorn clip because I've never laughed so hard in years. It's fucking great, isn't it? My Coco Dog 47 button gobbles intensely. Tipster, Acer Thorn, be like gobble gobble turkey, Tom. From Black Daddy, you got the full animal farm, Daddy Jim. You got a rage pig and now a turkey man that loves raw hot dogs. Suey! From Fed, Ocean Redux, your tits are my, or mid. From Alex, Jim, I have the monkey pox and my only wish is for more photon. Please give my dying grid's life some hope. There should be copies of the streams where we watched all the photon episodes up somewhere. Somebody had to mirror them, either on YouTube or BitChute. But there's only like, there's like, I think, 20 episodes? That That's all there is. You can watch, or what is it? Night of the Ly- or Lycanthrope? Isn't that the movie that he did on his own? You can watch that. It's probably pretty good. Uh, from Sus, why don't you smoke in your house and not outside? Or why don't you smoke in your house and not outside? And from Corey Cost, another banger stream. I'm shilling your hat while golfing. Fantastic. Make those sell or make those sales, Corey. Sell those hats. All right, I think that's I think that's all of them. I'll double check to make sure if I miss anybody here. Oh, uh, let's see. Did I miss what have I missed? Did I miss anything? Uh, it looks like I missed some. Hold on. Uh, let me let me get caught up here. Okay, there's the Animal Farm one. I saw that one. All right. From Jordan uh, Latandra. A jump me in Portugal once. Shame on me. Jump me in Portugal twice. Sui. From Iridem Hydrogen. Jim, you are a demigod. Keep doing the Lord's work. 
from Death McDeath Death. Love you, Jim. Thanks for the comfy stream, and see you next month. I see you next month as well. Uh, the Knicker Man. Have you ever played any of the mainline S or Shin Megami Tensei games? Yes, I have. Uh, King the Meme. Jim, I need your anime master opinion on this. Do I buy Xeno or Xenoblade Three or Digimon Survive? Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, if you like Xenoblade, I guess go with that. If you like Digimon, go with that. That's that's a tough toss up. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to think on that one. I don't want to give you an answer and then it's a the wrong one because then I feel like I fucked you out of the game you should have played. From the interest, what were your thoughts on my July poster? I do like your posters. Uh, but I thought the joy if I put if I put that George with there's a the Bibble George Floyd thing. Uh, I, <laughs> I was like, that's just asking for Susan to get very mad at me. Connection error. Jim stop bullying Ralph. He loves his family so much he's doing the smart thing and staying away from them. Uh, Denizens of Clown World, your recommendation for the most messed up anime. Something hilariously bad in a good way. I think you know what I mean. Cheers. Oh my god. What would be... I, I don't know. I'm drawing blanks. You got me at the very end of the night. Where my mind is starting to slowly slip. Because I'm old. I, I'd have to think on it. Anime recommendations. I'll try to post later on. Well... I don't know. I, I guess I don't know. I'm drawing a blank right now. Drug Stoner 420. Sorry, Mr. Stream Jim. I had a nice July and hopefully a nice August. Uh, Razor 987. Jim, tell Freddie Mary Hentai Jr. to not overdo it on the nerd's rope. From classical positioning, long way to go until your two swattings compared to the quarter powder and PIM tools combined 33. <laughs> those are rookie numbers, Chud Bud. You got to pump those numbers up. They have a combined of 33. Jesus. Uh, or <laughs> Orius Rofolk, did they have 33? Does somebody hate Quarter Pounder's coffee that much? Is that what it is? Uh, Orius Rofocal, it's my birthday today, but the stream is this gift, or is the gift. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, connection error, now that I think about, uh, now that I think Ralph leaving his family may not be the best, uh, he did leave his. Uh, daughter with that, <laughs> okay, <laughs> can't end well. Uh, Flamenco TV, still down for DNF Duel, if not, or if no, won't go full Bibble. Um, I, or Fulmico, I like uh, video games, but I haven't picked up DNF Duel yet. I don't think, did I pick it up yet? I'll have to check. I don't even know if I have it on Steam. I've been playing Steam Deck, and I, <laughs> I picked up my Steam Deck, and all I've played on it is Binding of Isaac. I feel like, I feel like I made, like you buy something that you think is like, oh, this is going to be great on the go, and I'm going to play all this high-end shit, and then it's just been like, oh, this is great for Binding of Isaac. I feel like I've, there's a mistake I've made somewhere, and I don't know what it is. Lord Chippy Dip, Papa Jim, I miss you, from Castorian X. Hi, Ralph. I just spent more on Jim's stream than rent cost in your head. Also, you won't marry your never wife. Jack the Wackled, forgot to ask what brand of cigs you smoke. Uh, Campbell 99s. For the ghost, uh, not the, it, it cuts your name off. So it just says, for the ghost, not the cam. Is it just me or is Rings of Redemption unironically a solid suggestion to spearhead America first? No. Get well now, Cancer Man. There it is. From Mike Hunt. Why have NFTs when you can right-click and save? Exactly. Having a poster of Mona Lisa is the same as owning the original. Email is a fad. No one will adopt it. Oh, I see. You're giving me... I feel like that's like a little a little underhanded jab there. Uh, Gillian Seed. Ralph Amale is a modern-day Mirat without the tub. Uh, Ralphie. Turns out Acer Thorne is gone on the run from the law. I've sent your good friend on Twitter the last video of our gobbling turkey. I'm very serious. Is he running from the law? Oh, my God. It's going to be great next month covering this. Uh, Cameron Ireland, hey Jim, if you ever need some pure uncut autism, the European soccer season is starting and the World Cup this year is soccer rage compilations are the best. I, I love compilation videos, usually road rage, uh, but I'll check those out. Aggressive Butter, uh, what was the Weatherman song called? Oh shit. Do you mean the Weatherman song or the Wellerman song? Uh, the Weatherman, I can't think of the name of the group off the top of my head. I'm sure somebody in chat will remind you. Uh, cause I'm, I'm trying to blank here. Uh, cat or Cadis Bain to a fellow Minnesota brother. Your shows bring the best laughs. Uh, oofta and a half epic Yoshi. Did, did the Swadden make you, <laughs> did the Swadden make you so mad? I'm going to, that's right. Uh, my two miles spite walk. I'm going to get out there and spite walk you motherfuckers. Uh, death McDeath death. Forgot to ask vintage hat or regular dad cap. Are you talking about like putting new stuff up? Are you asking what I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, folks. I'm running on fumes here. Epic Yoshi, I'm going to holler. I'm going to num, num, num. 
Uh, Walter Deadman, here's some money I should be spending on hats. I've spent more money than Pigman Ralph has ever spent on his whole family. Uh, Yule Brenner, don't die anytime soon, cancer butt. Also, Rip and Pepperoni Boogie 1488 from Michael. Happy to hear you sound so full of life, Jim. I guess you could we could thank Ralph for that. Uh, well, laughter is good medicine, and Ralph is something to laugh at. From Spectre, Miss Old Stream, need to watch a re-upload. I got high at work a week ago and told my wife I got into an acorn fight. Love you, Jim. Acorn fights are serious things, and we should all be we shall we shall sympathize with people that get into them. From Dylan Taylor, hey Jim, have you ever heard of a leaked clip of Flam raging at a teenager and threatening to burn his house down for killing him in Minecraft? No, is that, Flam, does that clip exist <laughs> over Minecraft? Uh, Bloody Ice fifty six, hey Jim, sorry that Ross and his team of elite Call of Duty super hackers took your videos down. Keep fighting the good fight. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you. Uh, Duke Duke, God bless. From Mr. Raymond UK, we got a sticker. Another little little dancing emoji. Uh, Merlo Williams. If we get a trucker variant hat, uh, can we get a flexit one? Instant buy for me. Again, I'll I'll take a look at it, see what I can do. Uh, Crap Connoisseur is Monkeypox, the new AIDS. I think I think Monkeypox is the old Monkeypox. Autism Forums. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to get me to deliver these messages? Uh, Adam Goldstein TV, please go on Who Are These Podcasts? Uh, sure. Uh, have some fun doing that. Uh, Ra uh, Rabbit Corn, Jim, check out Made in the Abyss. You probably like it. It's the best of the horror exploration adventure shows. From Spider Dude 93, maybe it was you that made Chris do the mommy loving. A rage pig. Is that a direct quote? Uh, from Czar. Hey, Jim, I subscribed about four years ago. I'm really unfamiliar with all or any of this stuff or who these people are. Uh, but listen, I can't click away. This Ralph guy is such a spectacle. Love the stream. Thanks. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. From Poggle, Christian versus Ralph UFC 278. Walter Denman. Hey, can you play out with Rich Evans yelling AIDS? Sure. Sure, why not? Uh, Jade Stern. Smokey CC has a good remix on Cyrix TLDR. He sent a uh, he sent his penis pic to a troll posing as a 14-year-old to cheer her up. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Uh, Platinum Gaming, great stream today. Glad you liked it. Burn, burn. Uh, Flamico will go to court when his dealer and his dealer's producer get caught. And I don't mean the Germans. Wonder if his Canadian uh, producer of waifu pillows will be subpoenaed from Scar. Hey, Jim. Here's some money for some Marlboro 27s. My brother is going through a bad breakup. If you can give him a shout out to Maddie Lucky Boy K. Uh, well, Maddie Lucky Block, or Lucky Block, Lucky Boy. <laughs> uh, Ma Maddie Lucky Block K. There's your shout out. A darkest nightshade. The deaf noodles thing is new. Review it next stream. So you wanted me to play you out on AIDS. It's a high note to go out on. Okay, I think I think I'm caught up. Am I am I missing here? I got a few more, and then we'll we'll play it out on AIDS. From Alphabet, hey Jim, are you looking forward to the America First Monkey Pox for Ethan Ralph to look like cross between the Michelin Man and a gold ball? I don't know what he'd look like with Bucky Pox, but it'd probably be horrifying. From Sukka M, here's some Siggy's my dude. Just got an increase in my VA disability. Let's go to Siggy Hell together. From Fed, Ocean Redux, I'll say this again. Your tits are mid. The outline retort, this just in. Topic, Alice of Flam Discord trial. Fam, grapes his dog and does foot worship for money. Stay tuned. Uh, from Bromity Blank, we ever hop on a stream with Cog, aka Backwards Internet. He'd love to have you on. Uh, a lot of, uh, like the, this is like the fifth now uh, stream people want me to get on. I, I will try to go on as many as I can. I just did uh, one this month, actually, talking to a dude who's uh, had a pretty good time, too. Of course, <laughs> Ralph tried writing that one. He's very mad for some reason about it. Uh, Necro Banana. Hello, Jim. Are you playing Xeno 3? Love it so far. Also, will you ever come to Puerto Rico on vacation? Raid Pig can't follow you here. Uh, I I don't know when the next time I'm going on vacation is. I got I to gotta stay away from the monkey pox as it spreads around the world. Uh, Logite 90. Is it possible to drink petrol from a can? Well, Ramarama teaches us no. Uh, games love you, or games you love. Uh, any chance for a Kenny Lauderdale collaboration? I, I'm not sure who that is, to be honest. Uh, Solid Carrot, if you make fun of me, why shouldn't I make fun of you? Medicare. Uh, Enclave Reformist Party, my hat better be worth it, but if it's crap, I'll send Sigma Squad to cleanse you and whatever disease you have. God bless the Enclave. Uh, S. Cyber Taz, tonight admit, or tonight admit, or, Jesus. Tonight at midnight Eastern, Adonis Paul presents a late night with Adonis Paul, if you remembered him from the Clan of Dusty Days. And finally, Rudolph Branches, 
Bilbo is very much convinced that you have Munchausen syndrome. What do you have to say about this? What if it is Jade that has Munchausen by proxy? Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's brilliant. Most people go see cancer specialists at Mayo's uh, just just because they got the Munchausens. You know, that's that's an easy thing to arrange. Real cheap. You know, <laughs> real everybody jumps straight into it. I think Bibble's just very mad that I won't play D&D with him. <laughs> He's never going to get over it. I wish I, I should have got that clip of Gator and Rand talking about it. I know your secret, Bibble. I know you're hurt that I wouldn't be your dungeon master, that I wouldn't, you, I wouldn't let you hold my dice and roll a d20. Never ever, Bibble. Never ever. <laughs> All right. Uh, since I'm caught up, let me find the clip you wanted. You want me to play you out on AIDS? It's a interesting way to end the stream, but you know what? We usually do a song, but we can do AIDS. We can always do AIDS. I hope you all have a uh, a good a good upcoming month. I will see you at the end of August, and uh, let's let's end tonight on a high note with Rich Evans screaming AIDS. Is this lead, Rich? Hey!